Who's ready to make some money? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Coming at you guys, 6.29 a.m. West Coast, USA. Happy Friday, let's go. It's gonna be epic. Thanks for joining me today. Crypto Kaboom, in the middle of the Crypto Kaboom. We're hitting 45 right now. 45,000. As to be expected. It's not like that FOMO is gonna end overnight. Of course the Moon Boys are gonna buy it up all night long and all weekend. What was that? All weekend? <laughs> Sundial 77 cents! That's the bell. Sundial B? <laughs> Going big. 13% already. Right, 85 cents. Alright, so we didn't quite hit a dollar yesterday. We got pretty darn close. We just ran out of time. That's all it was. We ran out of time on Sunday. If we didn't run out of time, we would have hit a dollar. We're gonna have to check the majors. This is a big day for the majors. Very, you know, Bitcoin is popping. Let's get all organized here. Our other majors are going to be the dollar, S&P. Yeah, dollar's still in the blue range. We've been in this blue dash range for like four days. <laughs> Three days. But that's that. S&P opening right above 450 because remember we finished the day right there. <laughs> oh man, that's an important day for S&P entirely. It's about to get the bear hammer. <laughs> We finished the day right at 450 with the battle over 450. And now it's starting the day up. Right here. Right in the bear's mouth. <laughs> Yo, Jeff. You riding up Sundial? He's already looking for some targets. <laughs> Sounds good. We can definitely uh, pinpoint some of our sundial targets today. Let's see what else we got moving first. Oh, our altcoins are up double digits. <laughs> yeah, Tilray. Right, the medical marijuana stocks from yesterday. ACB's number three. <laughs> Let the homo burn. This is what we've been speculating all last year about federal legalization. <laughs> so that's it. MM plays. Speaking of which, that's a good idea. <laughs> Don't mind if I do.
I don't know which one's better. That's the only real question. Is Sundial better than ACB or is ACB better than Sundial? <laughs> the question's not, is it lit? They're both mooning. Which one's better? Uh, I don't think it even really matters. They both look good. <laughs> Choice there between HCP or Tunda. Uh, you can get the full effect too. Uh, I'm sure we'll be covering these two all day, well, and next week and all year. HCP, HCP. That all-time low hot baby bounce. What's up? We need the hype movies. Wizard says SMP might not get the bear hammer until 460. Yeah, but it's Friday, Stock Wizard. There's not much time left. It can't fuck around up here forever. Today is the big day. gets the hammer today it's gonna go down all next week and then finish the month red and that's exactly what we're looking for oh nice way and gizmo having another pizza trading session we're having a pizza party with their charts <laughs> what kind of pizza do you guys order <laughs> the most popular pizza in Germany. What if the S&P does stay up here? Then abandon ship! Everybody off! <laughs> over <by. laughs> Uh, <laughs> if it does stay up here, there's going to be incredible pressure built up for next Monday, for next week. Okay, think about it this way. We're trying to go under 435, this blue dash line right here. In the next like seven days, let's double check how much time we do have there. Six days, seven hours. In seven days, we need to be under 435 right here. It doesn't matter if that happens today, if that happens Monday, if it happens next Thursday. As long as this happens between now and the next seven days, we're good to go. So if it doesn't start going down now, there's just going to be incredible pressure built up for Monday. And then really get hammered. The longer it takes, the faster it could drop in the end. The more sketchy it's going to be. But you don't even have to worry about that right now. I just <laughs> I made a joke out of it because it's not even worth talking about right now. Like, you should not be worried about that yet. We got a long way to go until it gets stuck up here. <laughs> All it did was just um, basically just tap 450, just retest it for the second time. Because we were up at 450 the other day, right here. And it popped right through, and we just got a second test up there for the resistance. Right now, we're just, 
We're looking at that holding. Let's fucking take a poll. Let's take a bet. Make it interesting. <laughs> We're gonna take a poll and make it interesting. Bet some booty on it. In the next hour, in one hour from now, is S and P gonna be above or over, <laughs> under or over? Perfect. All right, that's open. We're gonna take bets for her booty. Is it gonna be above or under 450 in the next hour? I'm gonna bet too. I'm betting under. I'm betting it's going under next hour. Oh. Hey, Lois, you have to. I think you have to type capital. What are you sure? Oh no, I got you. Cool. <laughs> We're gonna leave that open for an hour. So if it's it's bouncing all around, it'll be hard to make a decision. But we'll just check in an hour from now and see. After a bit of time, after some time has gone by, will we be above there still, or are we just gonna fall right underneath right now? <laughs> I really, I couldn't be much more bearish on S&P right now. It's, it's as bearish as ever possible. So... I'm always expecting it to go down, but then... It takes forever, because we get like dollar dip or something. Our <laughs> Federal Reserve will go on TV and make some random announcements like, what the heck, the dollar's doing that now? So it behaves unexpectedly, which is the hard part. It can be annoying, it can be aggravating on s and It can do things that you wouldn't think it's gonna do. Dollar hasn't moved enough for anything decisive there. We don't have any decisions on the dollar. Get that coffee going. Let's give out our shout outs. Those of you getting your experience points. I missed the AMC OG. <laughs> coffee we got the fire happy sundial day happy acb tilray explosion day <laughs> here sundial fire let's fucking go we gotta be hitting a dollar on it today now <laughs> Didn't yesterday, surely today it's got enough rocket fuel. 
Okay, we'll check it out Game 7. So, now Deathfoot is looking for a target. Um, I mean... We could spend all day just with the sundial chart. This gives a shout out to Swish. Yeah, you took some damage on mine there, that's too bad. Because it's, it's pretty good right now. It's good looking right now, let's double check that too. Yeah, mine made hard bounce from a dollar. Now it's fire on my mid. Unfortunately, it did come down a lot those last few months. There's a long term my mid. It's kind of like ACB, guys. Hot baby. <laughs> it primers. She starts farming out from city country. Head stop program. Make it swabby. Dr. Scallywag, my man, Lil Smith, Nick and Swabby, GameStop hit 150. <laughs> okay, we'll check it out. That's our resistance. Green beard. That's what the S, cause the S&P opened green. It, I should have took the bed on GameStop. <laughs> Stock wizard, naked zombie, Gary Hoden, Swift and Swift. Vitaly, take the party up. Perpman, Agro Grizzly, Becky B and RC. Robert, time to be in joke. Perpman, Underwater. Evil Toro. I'm sure he's already riding those spy puts. <laughs> Yesterday. Yo, easy, bro. Fire fire, my internet girlfriend. <laughs> Shoot truck. Whiskey, the other dominant. I guess my only way real here. I'm cold. <laughs> oh, what a surprise. I recognize every single fucking name in the chat. Tamagotto, my Zuna. So do I. <laughs> These are all our Discord members. <laughs> Maybe we should just uh, hop on Discord instead. <laughs> Travis Schaefer. Hornet. Hyphen. Hyphen's name's James. I think he wants to be called that from now on. I remember. James. <laughs> Brian Walters, John Dragomir, Roger Tran. 10x gamer, Mr. Nimbus, Jeff R. Sweet. Bullcat? No, not yet. Uh, not sure where Bullcat is. Etina? Meticulous? Let's all have a great day. The most of our Friday. Here's the problem, GME is up on the morning and because s and is green. Remember that it's correlating right now. They're absolutely correlating. It's every day when the s and is green, GameStop and AMC are green. Every time the s and is red, GameStop and AMC are red. It's clear as day lately. Going out. Ooh, Bitcoin for five thousand. It's over nine thousand. <laughs> yeah, we got tons of stuff to check out today. You know, so fasten your seatbelts, get comfy. If I don't answer your question. There's too many questions and I didn't get around to it. Ask again later. Asking again in the afternoon when things slowed down. Or later in the day, there's not as much questions being asked. I can answer them better.
we have too many to check right now. I can't pull up every single thing immediately or else it would be going too fast. I could, but it would be going too fast. People wouldn't be able to keep up. So we checked our medical marijuanas. We checked our majors. Um, Jeff wants some sundial targets, which is fair since it's rocketing upwards. But we do need to plan where our real sundial targets are going to be. But for right now, for right now, we don't have to go too deep into that yet. So. Let's just get a nice first kind of target on it. We got this 135 up here. That would be 100% from here. So it's like, is Sundial gonna go 100% today? Maybe, maybe not. If it does, that'll be a target. That'll be some profit taking on the short term. But of course, this should continue next month, next year, all year long. Right? So we're not trying to really hit these targets down here. I would say that, all right, here's the deal. On Sundial right now, if you're riding it up, if you got in at the bottom area, when we get over one dollar, okay? When we go over a dollar on Sundial, if you're up a hundred percent, time to take profits. So if we're a dollar twenty-five and you're up a hundred percent, take some profits. Just get your initial investment out. Just fucking do it. Don't even think about it. Because then you can put it into something else, like HCB or whatever. Put it in a ride. Make a look. You might as well get your, double your money and get your initial investment back out of it. Unless you've been diamond handsing it for six months and you don't really care. Yeah, like, I... Sundial's the one where we don't really need to do that on. There are some that don't aren't as necessary. I'm telling you the truth. I'm gonna tell you the truth about that. Like for everyone in the crew, that's the effective strategy. That's how everyone's winning. They double their money, they take their initial investment right back out of the trade, so they have their risk off the table, and then they still have some free shares left over on the house. How to get free shares with double trade. Everyone should be doing that on every trade. Sundials, no exception. It is, however, the perfect setup right now where that's not really necessary, to tell you the truth, because we got such bigger targets, it's just getting started. You should be good to hold this like all year long if you want to, or this should be multiple dollars by the end of the year, so there's no need to really take those early profits if you don't really care about that. You would do it to be safe. You would do it to maybe play a different trade in the meanwhile. But if you're going heavy on Sundial and you're just gonna YOLO it, <laughs> we're going for big targets. If you wanna just fucking YOLO Sundial, then you should be all right to hold it till we get to like $3. Our real target's gonna be more like $3. Three to five. That's where we're trying to take Sundial profits. 10x, 50 cents to so $5. That's our 10x. That's what we're going for. We're going for the gold, going for the green. Let's get some seven in the chat. Seven, seven, seven. If Sundial was only one of your three positions and you want some dry powder to do something else with, then you would take your profits. Uh, 
Otherwise, be careful not to exit your lungs too soon. <laughs> I love saying that. <laughs> I feel like I haven't said that enough for six months because hardly anything's been going up yet. <laughs> I used to say that about AMC every fucking day, literally, I remember, every day, it's like, careful not to exit too soon, <laughs> on AMC at like $10, $15, $20, careful not to exit your sundial too soon, at $1, don't let them get it from your diamond hands that easy, there's fucking like federal <laughs> legalization going on. That's global events, that's what we've been waiting for, that's everything you want from Sundial, this is your chance, you got it when no one else wanted it, now they want it, don't let them get it too easy. I'm glad you're excited about AMC because I'm sure she's making money on it. You gotta be real careful. I <laughs> Apparently there's nothing I can say though. It's like, you can't tell anyone any anything really. <laughs> I'm not here to change anyone's mind. Or It is exciting that a lot of you are seeing green on AMC because you have a lot of cross average. I'm happy about that. I wish it would just go to $50 right now so you all can take some profits. I'm skeptical that's going to happen. We need to go at work. Look. We got a mediocre move here. It wasn't that impressive. We got the $15 bounce, so of course we were bullish over 15. Some people entered here and even took profits right here. I remember we traded it from here under 15 to over 20 that first time. This is similar to that. It's the same kind of thing. We're just from under 15 to over 20. It's just another one of those. It's nothing that impressive yet. Haha, <laughs> heard it. <laughs> I'd pass it through the screen if I could. I feel like there's a lot of false hope on AMC right now. Just because it's been going green, so it. Your natural inclination is to think, oh, this is it, it's gonna continue. I don't see enough on the chart for that right now. Hold the phone, like, not so fast, cause it looks to be, it's gonna be coming back for a support retest at minimum, even if it goes higher. Even if it goes to $40, it looks like it's going to come back to 17 first and test the support. Even if it bounced from there and went to 40 right after. Break out of the small resistance kind of wedge shape in here. These are higher, uh, lower highs right now. These are lower highs right here, right now. is where you gotta trust the chart and go, okay, it's not gonna go 100% right here until it breaks out of this orange resistance. At minimum. If it doesn't break out of the orange resistance, it's probably gonna go down and test 17. If it tests 17, it might not sustain. And the S&P might get hammered there, and then it drops down even lower and goes all the way back to 15. 15 is not a solid support anymore. We already broke through 15. 
So it would probably fall right through 15, see? You gotta be careful here. Try not to get too excited that it's gonna go up here just yet, because that's not for sure. That's a whole nother 100% we're talking about. That's a big move all on its own. That's uh, asking for a lot right now. It's, I'm not convinced it's strong enough at the very moment, at the current point in time, to go against the S&P, because it's about to get hammered. <laughs> to fight the dollar. Is AMC gonna fight the dollar when dollar's going up all day? Because dollar's trying to go up today, a lot. We're trying to really get that dollar breakout now, S&P go down. You gotta understand that S&P's had extra power because things haven't been that extreme. S&P's been green. <laughs> Everything's been green. It's not doing it all on its own. It's not like Mullen last, last week where Mullen was just destroying it all on its own. The Mullen was like the only green chart all week. It's just gonna blast it off. Doesn't even care about the dollar. And look, here it is. This is AMC. Wait, am I looking at Mullen or am I looking at AM fucking C? What's the difference? These look identical right here. Here's AMC right now at $20. That's everything we were just talking about. I'm rolling. You can see it right here. If you didn't believe me before, man, you must not be looking at the same charts. <laughs> Tell me that's not exactly the same and you're going off the plank. Because you're in denial and you're not <laughs> reading the charts if that's the case. Tell me that's not exactly the fucking same though. You can't because it is the same. There's Mullen on the left, AMC on the right. This is what AMC wants to do. What Mullen's doing right now. There it is. Going back for the support retest at the bull box. AMC, go back for a support retest at the bull fucking box at $15. That's exactly what I was talking about on AMC is what Mullen's doing right now. You can expect that same thing right here. Just come down for a sport retest like Mullen from the bull box. And then bounce from there. And AMC might bounce from there. If it bounces from there, we're good to go. And it's going to $40. But we need to have that successful support retest. Or else this isn't support. And it's going to go down to 5 <laughs> Thanks, or he goes, you're a badass captain, I'm not doubting the charts. <laughs> and just in case, alright, just in case, something un- This is it, this is- <laughs> How do I even explain, like- You can't be more accurate than this right now, there's the most accurate prediction, projection chart you could have on AMC right here, right now. I, I could I go into the one minute chart and check all it and it doesn't matter this is all you need to know about it that's accurate as fuck but it still might not happen because unexpected things occur there are lots of variables maybe uh Elon Musk like tweets out he went to the movies and the, the chart starts pumping like right? That's as accurate as the chart can be right now. It still might not happen because something unexpected. Therefore, 
just in case, I'll go ahead and put an alert up here, okay? <laughs> so if AMC triggers this alert, it's pushing it up on the top. Just in case that doesn't happen and it does start breaking out, we'll know about it if we're if this projection doesn't play out. Then we might want to know about that, so we'll put an alert there. Otherwise, just expect it to go down following S&P. So that's why it would go down, is because following S&P. So if S&P doesn't go down, well then it's, it's safe right now. Here's the S&P. <laughs> Remember that there have been tons of green charts lately. Like we got Sundial popping, we had Mullen, we have Centro, Centro Electric. We just crushed Cobble. There are so many lit charts. Like it's not just AMC having a good day, right? <laughs> I don't know if we'll ever stop talking about it. <laughs> I feel like for the rest of the time, for like 10, 5 years, if we're still live streaming, <laughs> if YouTube still exists, there will still be some diehards that ask about it. I want to mention that we've had some tough months before, like December was really rough because just literally everything taking damage even on crypto. The live streamers who only cover Bitcoin or even just content creators, video makers on YouTube, I suppose in general, who are entirely focused on crypto. There was a period of time in the bear market back here where they're still streaming, they're still making videos about Bitcoin every day in a bear market for like three years long. That's brutal. I remember watching some of those videos years ago back here and they, they were all getting depressed and just like burned out from waiting for anything to happen. It'd just be like, oh, it's another day of nothing in crypto <laughs> for three years straight. That's brutal. That's why we played both. Right. We got Crypto Crews doing lots of pillaging on the altcoins and we got our stock pirates who's loading up the hot bevy stocks. The undervalued stock plays both is good. Cause you know if crypto <laughs> hits a point where it just completely slows down, then you can start trading all your stocks again. Or if your stocks all slow down, maybe crypto's moving. Cool, now that Bitcoin's at 45, it, it, we should be heading to 50. This should be the one that makes it further. It is gonna be a challenge though, with how the S&P looks and the dollar. Raises lots of questions about all that, but. What we're gonna do is just accept Let's just accept that Bitcoin's powerful right now, regardless of all the other majors. 
So it has the best chance right now to keep crushing it all on its own. It might take some damage from the dollar. It might go down if the S&P starts going straight down. It still is very strong right now. Even so. That might slow it down, but it's probably not going to hurt it that much. So, it, it, when we do get days like that, when that does happen on Bitcoin, it might slow it down with a speed bump, come back to support, and then bounce again. But it shouldn't do that much damage to it, slam it all the way back down to 40,000. We're way over 40,000 now, we should be heading up to 50. Alright, well that's AMC, I'll check GameStop, since it's at our 150. Careful with that! <laughs> Maybe I just shouldn't even say anything, just look at the chart, there you go. We didn't get that support retest yet, so just like AMC, it feels like it needs a bigger, better support retest here. This is our resistance, we were heading right up here yesterday, didn't quite make it there, now it's falling the S&P up on the morning. Here's our resistance at 150, just go rejection from there down to the support. For the newer traders who just started, maybe they're newer to our show this month, last month, a few months ago, or just newer to the market. Don't worry about all that. It doesn't mean much. It's weird saying it. There's a lot going on, but at the same time, it doesn't really matter at all. People are asking about it, talking about it, but it's, there's not much to do here. There's no move to make. There's, just in case though, again, just in case our projection fails and something unexpected occurs, I'll put a breakout alert. If it gets through the resistance, well, no. All right, so we have it. We're ready and set for AMC and GME. If they do have a miraculous day, we'll be right on top of it. If they don't trigger those alerts, you can expect them to come back for that support retest. There's lots of excitement about it. It's, these are all my friends in the chat are getting excited about it, so... I don't want to mislead anyone, but then I don't want false hope either. I'm seeing all this false hope, and it's, it's making it's concerning. It's a bit concerning to see that in the chat. I thought you all knew better than that. What is all, where's all these moon boys coming from this morning? What happened to my crew? Where'd my fucking crew go? God damn it! Where'd my crew go? What happened to the stock pirates? There's a bunch of moon boy imposters here today. Where'd all the stock pirates go? <laughs> Who replaced all my friends with GameStop Moon Boys? <laughs> Come on, you're better than this. You're not gonna fall victim to some Moon Boy GameStop rally? Fuck that. This is where everyone FOMOs in at 150 and then it drops to $99. Just like last month. <laughs> Remember that just happened. 
it's been doing this <laughs> right back here as well that just happened February where it popped up to 130 and then dropped down to $77 remember that one how many people do you think bought it at 130 and then paper handed down here <laughs> no, six scary man Let's go. Trust in the church. I would never touch that. Do you think I would fucking buy that shirt? Absolutely not. Maybe at the magic number, but then I would sell it right here. <laughs> that quick hundred percent but is it gonna go another hundred percent right now I'm skeptical there's not enough on the chart simple as that it's too much of a hype cycle not enough of a technical run if only this was happening because of the pure technicals, and yeah, it would be on. It is only happening because fucking Ryan Cohen tweeted out that he bought some GameStop shares. The GameStop chairman. <laughs> That's the only reason. That's not enough to send it to $500 right now. That was enough to pump it to 150, but how far is that really gonna take it? Because guess what? Smart money's out of money. <laughs> Smart money's out of dry powder. It sounded funny saying it that way. Smart money's out of dry powder. You know how we all wanted to buy more grayscale Litecoin, but no one has dry powder left? <laughs> Dumb money's out of dry powder. Like, they already went all in on GameStop. Who even has money to buy more GameStop, even if they wanted to? Like, even if they are a moon boy. <laughs> if they're a GameStop moon boy, they already went all in on it. They don't have any more dry powder to keep pushing it up and up and up. We'll see, alright? We'll see. You might not, you might be skeptical now, you might not agree. Thank you, Cap. Moon Boy, Jeff! exclamation mark 777. <laughs> With the giant 7s, our hype man's here! Let's go! <laughs> George Squeeze, confirm. Thanks so much, my man. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> we got the hat on. We got the hype in the chat. This is gonna be an epic Friday. Oh yeah. <laughs> what a nice surprise. Ah, uh, that means a lot. That makes up for the fucking cannons I fired at Vthor last night. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the Vthor, Jeff. For real. Because <laughs> I just bought some more last night. I'm stretching it just like everyone else. See ya. I don't have infinite dried powder either. I work hard, and then when I get some dried powder, I make my entry. I plan and plan and strategize. And hey, sweet, I got a little dried powder. Maybe I'll fire a small cannonball. <laughs> Easy. I'm like going and taking a fucking loan out to go all in on AMC or something. That's how you know the treasure is going to a good cause, though. <laughs> of course, it's for everything. It just supports the show in general. I just 
5v3 with my extra. <laughs> That's how we got all the life this last week. It was great. We probably invited 10 new pirates to join our crew. We have like 10 new members on Discord with us now. There's all the kind of support last week. Find each other golden tickets. And SP is still up. We're, <laughs> we're gonna run out of time on the bet. We have 20 minutes on the bet. I'm gonna need to make the bet like all day long next time. Sheesh. An hour is not long enough for these things to play out, apparently. Apparently, look, it's probably gonna take all day. That's crazy, but it. No, actually, it's probably gonna take till next week. <laughs> this is how the SP has been lately. You think something's gonna happen today, and then it doesn't. <laughs> and, then, and, and then we get to Monday, and it's like, alright, surely, surely Monday. Uh, nope. Uh, end of week. Let's get close to the end of the week. Maybe something will happen, and that takes the very last like hour on next Friday, the very end of the month. Ridiculous. Yeah, exactly, nerdy jerk. You like seeing these new crewmates who want to learn? Yeah, is there are a lot of positives from it. Lots of benefits, because. It goes back to that old saying of like, the best way to to learn something is by teaching it. So uh, the OGs are, are giving their experience, giving valuable insight to some of the newer pirates who, where the OGs went through those same exact things six months ago so it's like hey i was in that boat before i did this and i was able to recover it and get back on my feet so all our members really enjoy helping each other out the new traders there's absolutely no no intimidation in the chat or anything sometimes People join, but they feel kind of shy. They feel intimidated by all the high-level discussion going on. Discord, don't. The half the time we're just joking around and having fun too on Discord. It's you can be as serious or nonchalant as you want out there no one's gonna judge you or care so if you're brand new and you ask hey what's a candle bar <laughs> what the heck is a candle bar you'll get five answers <laughs> there's no shame in anyone's game and you'll probably get some links to some resources to learn more about it and everything. We don't know what you don't know. I don't know what you don't know. So, what do you know? What don't you know? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what you know already or don't. If you're brand new, you might never have seen a Fibonacci before. Who's Fibonacci? <laughs> Lines up with our next target right there. There's our next target right at the Fibonacci. But it needs that breakout. It needs to clear through here successfully. All good to go with no other problems. This is a real valid target. We're just not convinced that it's gonna go from right here right now. I 
I'd feel more confident about it if it came down to 17 first and then bounced from 17 like this and then broke out. Then I'd feel even more confident. That would be the best case scenario. So either way, really, it should come down again to 17 first. And that's why you got to be careful because these FOMO rallies have been lasting a few days. It's all an extended process on the S&P and even these things right now. It's kind of like equivalent to going long on S&P. It's like, you know how bearish it is. It seems just a matter of time. Hitting our bear's mouth. <laughs> but it can do crazy things, so there's there's always the chance that this keeps going and AMC keeps going. That's what we're gonna be watching on it today. We should have a good idea of that we should have a good feel for all this in the next couple hours. It's not enough right now in the first hour wasn't enough. It appears it's probably going to take all afternoon going into the very end of the day till we really have a more solid prediction on those. Oh, great question, Jeff. What's the hot bevy of the day? What's the special today? Let's find a good day trade. That's awesome that you're killing uh, Sundial, Jeff. Because I know he took big profits on VXX. That was perfect. That's exactly why we did. If anyone was here that day, you remember why we were so excited. Our VXX bulls finally got a good target. So Jeff took a lot of profits there. And then he fired cannons at Sundial and some of the crypto ICP and stuff. Savage. That's why we wanted to get out of VXX soon. So we wouldn't miss out on Sundial. So which, how about for right now? Maybe we can get a good run on day trade today. Day traders? Day traders out there? Mm. Maybe see pop already off the bat. We're not even looking at the chart. That's a contender. It's gonna be one that's already green right now. Even potentially even ride. A ride might look already for a quickie after yesterday. Mm. It's not enough right this minute for that. Or one of the crypto plays like Sphere 2D. Mm. It's not quite yet, but Sphere 3D's got that set up. Sphere 3D. Contender today because it didn't do too much yesterday. What happened yesterday? Our development is we breached the surface, getting over our buy box over two dollars, holding successfully, popping over two, not to bust through. Sir, how about Brickell? Brickell, BBI is ready to rock. Alright, we're not gonna choose just yet. We're 
selecting a few that have potential. Ah, <laughs> nice Lois. Picking up a few hundred more Mullen in Central. Yeah, yeah, I suppose that's true. Maybe we could get a Mullen bounce on a day trade, but that's not what I'm looking for. That's not what's been the best day trades lately. We want those pirate wedges for day trades. Uh, Green Pro, great setup in the short term. I think a lot of you are already in that though. Jeff's already in that, I think. Just the one asking. so far okay waiter fresh out of a bear trap we just completed this whole bear trap now it's going for another round 100% pirate wedge 50 cents to a dollar she pop she popping right now there's not even much time you have to <laughs> <laughs> There's only one thing left to do! Where the gun is! <laughs> There's no time! <laughs> Green alert! She popping! Here's your day trade. Sorry, you up 8%. Pop. And then waiter as a backup as a secondary. That's it. I found him. <laughs> See pop and waiter. He popped ten percent. Let's go. She pop. They trade. <laughs> it's on. No, Lois. Hershey's. Hershey's is the one outcast. That's what sucks about the S&P right now. And the Bears are probably gonna lose the bet. We're running out of time on the... That's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, that boy ain't alright. <laughs> Of course, that means S and P's holding up. Here. I mean, uh, AMC, GME are holding up here with the fucking S and P. It's not right. It's being, it's being ridiculous. And that's usually how it goes on S and P lately, right? There's nothing too unexpected. It's just annoying because, again, as always, we're gonna have to give it more time now. Let's make sure we still have that monthly bearish crossover. Okay, good, we do. Still a giant red candle bar on the monthly. The MACD here. As long as we have that, we feel good. If that turns green, end of month, that could be an issue. <laughs> Now it's still red, it's still trending down. It's this monthly candle bar's big coconut bounce the whole way, and we got six days, six hours for it to roll over. Yeah, we're still not above last month. Here's last month, and my mouse is at the top. It's still quite a ways lower than last month. So we still have that red 
bearish momentum on the weekly or the monthly MACD, very long term. As long as we have that. If it goes above that last candle that's gonna turn green and that could be an issue. <laughs> that bearish crossover would disappear. So we have to hold that bearish crossover for six days. That's all we really need right now. Right here. As long as that doesn't turn green all of a sudden. It's at risk of doing that. Bullcat's here to save the day. <laughs> Bullcat, we need you. <laughs> If only I had a bear cat too. I need to get a second kitten for a bear cat. <laughs> we need both cat to pump the dollar. <laughs> I will take it on CPOP though, 15%. This is the bright side of it, this is the good news. No reason for CPOP to go down. It's on the top of the list right now. We just spotted the top moving chart before it happened. Watch out, Bokeh. I'm sniping. There we go. Full battle gear. So this was only up a few percent, five, six percent when we first looked at it. Now it's the very top of the list. Double digits. The hedges must be watching. They're short squeezing. <laughs> They're closing their shorts. Oh, <laughs> they're zipping up their pants. Yeah, and another good part about it is Bitcoin crushing through 45,000. <laughs> mm, grayscale Litecoin is going to have a nice day. I'm okay with that. Just getting started. We'll get back to AMC GME. We have the alerts ready. Unfortunately for the bet, for the <laughs> the bets apparently have not been enough time. <laughs> I'm gonna have to start making the bets like three hours long. Our bet ends in two minutes and the Bulls are going to win <laughs> on the s &P. The question was above or under 450 and it went uh, above for the first hour of the day. So that was the question. It did the stupid thing. <laughs> Cool, that's a lot going on, and we still got the dollar dippy action and everything, so this is all probably gonna spill into the very end of the day with the S&P and everything. So we're all ready for that now. It, since it's not going down immediately, now it's like, well fuck, it's gonna take all day <laughs> to roll over. And we might be talking about is it going to close above or under 450 end of day. And that's okay for now. It's just the longest market crash ever. <laughs> the longest market crash that you'll ever see. Lasting like three months or wait a second. It's been a fucking long time when we crashed into the iceberg. It's been a long time now. 
really starting in November, it topped out. Right here in November, went flat. That was the top. And hopefully, we don't bounce. Coconut bounce all the way back up there. It'd be ridiculous. Like, it could do that, but what the fuck? How long is it gonna play mind games here? Because. A thousand November, that's November, December, January, February, March. Five months? Five months? <laughs> the S&P's been going down? That's a long time. And we were preparing for it months before that, so we were talking about it early last year. <laughs> it's been like a year-long market crash. Holy cow. Well, the pulls over. My goodness. That was the rules. As crazy as it is, the Bulls won the bet. <laughs> Seven bets for... Uh, oh, okay. There's only four for above. Four for above. Seven for under. So they just raked it in. <laughs> Check your points. If you bet above, you just got a lot of points. I should just do another bet for an hour from now, because <laughs> now the questions is going to drop down in an hour from now. <laughs> I'm just going to have to keep asking every hour of the day. <laughs> Happy trading. Happy Friday. We're off to a bang. We got C-pop. Fucking lit day trade. There's no time, now or never. You can't even hesitate. I got the captain's hat on, there's no hesitation. It's up 20%. I wonder if Jeff got in on that. I hope he did. He was asking for that nice day trade, this is it. Let's get 100%. <laughs> Pop in a hundred percent. I heard 43. <laughs> he was drinking and trading, hitting the rum, and he made a bad, he made a drunk trade on C Pop. Now he has a bad taste in his mouth left over. <laughs> now he hates C Pop, and that's what Lois feels with Hershey's. Hershey's Bears. They're never going to be able to eat a chocolate bar ever again. Ah, uh, Camilla. Look. Uh, if you're in GameStop puts, I never talked about that shit. Hey crew, have I ever once ever suggested GameStop puts being a good idea? Because every time people talk about puts, I go, whoa, okay man, like, good luck because you're day trading GameStop. You're scalping GameStop. I never suggest scalping AMC GameStop, fuck that, it's not even a swing trade, all these are long term holds, that's it. The only trade that I would ever recommend thinking about on AMC or GameStop is a long term hold from the buy box. If we can get AMC under $10 entry, then it's a good long-term hold. That's it. That's my opinion about it. Anyone who is talking about puts is a mad lad. <laughs> but, 
stay calm, hold strong. <laughs> like, don't give up on GameStop puts yet either. If you are bearish on it, it's in no man's land. The comment he was like, Guys, I'm losing a lot of money to Ryan Cohen. I thought we were going GameStop puts WTF. Maybe a couple traders did that the other day. I don't know. That's not the trade here. Hang tight though. Okay. Here we go. Here's as simple as it gets. This gold breakout box for all time high. You know how gold breakout boxes go. We usually hit the bottom of the gold breakout box and that gets resisted. First of all. It's right there, right on it right now. Perfect. Actually, couldn't be any more perfect because it's we have a wick right above, and then we have the candle bar right on the orange resistance. It matches up perfect. This is a bullish chart, panda. <laughs> so it could be either. So it's nice and simple. I'm gonna illustrate. Don't give up on either. Like even if you're in GameStop puts, just chill because might get a hard rejection right here. back down so you don't want paper hand your puts either I say spy puts I say Tesla puts I've never said GameStop puts it's too irrational based off the hype cycle. That's this is exactly what I mean. Cause it's Ryan Cohen sends out one tweet one day and then boom, it's not really as technical behaving as it could be, or as our other charts are. We like when they behave off a technical breakout and get a run, and it's predictable. Anyway. So it's kind of unpredictable what's going to happen right here. We have a good prediction. We This is as accurate as it's going to get. You can expect this until it doesn't. Because let's say we're viewing this bullishly as a gold breakout box. That's what this is. We clear through this box at 220. Boom. All time high. Gold breakout box. Okay. If we look at it that way. Well it's not even inside of it yet so it's already getting resisted and then it would have to clear the whole gold breakout box pop out get support on top and then bounce from there like Mullen's doing and you know how Mullen's struggling to do that right now <laughs> it's got a ways to go it's... don't give up on the puts yet if you're holding them red this is where you want it like, <laughs> if somebody was gonna enter GameStop puts even though I don't suggest it this is where you would do it how about that Yeah, I'm sure it was just a misunderstanding. I, I do remember last week, one of those afternoons, there's a few traders trying to make a day trade on GameStop puts. <laughs> hey, Brett. So we're gonna have to get this man a parrot. <laughs> I had a bull cat on my shoulders earlier. It's 
So that's why this is no man's land, really. It's... Are you picking up what I'm throwing down? <laughs> you wouldn't really want to buy it here. You wouldn't want to enter it here because we don't have that confirmation. We haven't cleared the gold zone. The orange line. And I have the alert right up there if we do. But it's also no man's land for the bears, because do you really want to fight the hype? Do you really want to go against everyone else? Where you could just play a different bearish trade, that's the thing, there are better bear charts to play. Instead of GameStop puts, you playing, uh, Encores, perfect Zim, CIM, getting annihilated. Zim a Zim a bow. <laughs> Zim a Zim a Zim. Oh, look a Zim. Straight down. <laughs> Getting a magic hammer. Like, just play puts on that instead. Fuck, fuck, fuck trading what everyone else is trading. This one's lit. Why do you think everyone's losing money on AMC and GameStop? Because they're all trading AMC and GameStop. <laughs> exactly. They don't do that. Trade other charts that are better than that and just long term hold those ones if you want to. <laughs> Pretty straightforward. Let's get some sevens in the chat if you understand. If you're picking up what I'm throwing down. Seven, seven, seven. Otherwise, I'm about to take a intermission. Otherwise, I'm about to take off the hat and take a smoke break. <laughs> if we get seven, enough sevens in the chat, if you understand, I'll hang around. Waiting, that's not enough sevens. <laughs> you hear that pirate flute? Hmm, it's looking like coffee break. <laughs> is sevens now that's better well done let's scratch some turks in I'm developing early in the morning right here. I don't really want to step away. I 
think our crypto stock should pick up pace this afternoon as well. Friday afternoon with Bitcoin going green all morning. That Friday FOMO on that end on Sweet D. This is a good time to enter CPOP for the day trade if you didn't get in yet. This is your last chance entries on it. High Tide's another medical marijuana play. Just notice that one top of the list. Try TI. I haven't looked at this chart in a long time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are we out of here? I'm about looking at this gap hill and the retracement. Say $20 target, so from 5 to 20, not bad. If I remember correctly, this one's more in the um, management side of the businesses. So. I think they do like property management for the farms. Is that right, Becky? Can you confirm that for me? So they help set up the farms for the growers and suppliers, get them the equipment and everything like that. So they're more in the management side of it than actually being a distributor. So it's a different spin on the MM place. So maybe you have some... Uh, maybe you have some Sundial or ACB. Becky says definitely more on the business side, Pertman said no. It's been so long that we've looked at it, I can't quite remember if that was the one, I thought it was that one. Pertman says they own a bunch of different brands of pipes and stuff, I gotcha. Okay. That must have been a different one with the property side of things then. These are more in the actual materialistic goods rather than the flower. Expert man. Expert man would know. <laughs> he probably smokes more than I do. <laughs> It's been helpful at least stay focused. We can <laughs> skipping the smoke break, the coffee break, so we're just staying focused on the charts. I'm not always gonna do that. This week's been lit, you dig? A sundial kind of a week. <laughs> it's funny too, cause CBDD's top of the list. This is a clear breakout. I have like $20 of it, but I'm starting to think I should have got a real position on it. I'm starting to think I actually should have loaded up some CBDD. CBD of Denver. Thanks for a seven, Zuliski. Appreciate that, man. 
I was just cracking up the funny things you were saying in the chat. Yeah, that's cool. Firefly Tilray has a brewery as well on top of that. And it was fun talking to you on the voice chat for you to see. They own Sweetwater IPA. Yeah, that all sounds good. That's good hype. <laughs> That'll get people talking about Tilray, right? And it's way over five dollars now. Like we had our five dollar hot bevy on it. Way over five now. Hot beverage. Uh, yeah, permit. Well, there's just a lot going on. There's always gonna be misinformation in the world. Everyone just does their best, right? And so some of these stocks that we haven't looked at for six months, it's hard to remember exactly what they were doing at the time. And, um, if you don't know, so if you don't know something for sure, just say that. Just say, I'm not totally sure about it. That's what I do. Just saying, I think that's what High Tide does if I remember correctly. So I wanted to get chat to confirm it. As long as you say, I'm not 100%, but I think something is... It's all good. I'm sure, no one's trying to intentionally mislead anyone. Here comes the hammer! <laughs> hey, that's fucking. Glad to hear it. Still watching, still learning. <laughs> I tried to find a falcon sound effect yesterday, I couldn't find a good one. Yeah, misinformation will always be a problem though. It's it's only re really an issue when it's intentionally misleading. Like the hedges in the media. But if you have someone who's trying their best, who's like, hey, I, I think this, but I'm not really sure, you can't fault them too much for that. So, it's never my fault if you fuck up a trade. <laughs> End of story. <laughs> That's the moral of that story. Because I'm just here trying my best, like everyone else, and you're trying your best. That's all we can do. So mistakes happen. So, I might call something wrong that. Of course, like, I'm sure I already have a million times, like, you, <laughs> trading is not a hundred percent ever, there's, that's why people say there's no certainties in the market, because you have all those variables that we don't have control over. Yeah, Camilla, relax. It's okay, man. We're keeping close watch on it. Do you have, hopefully you can hang out all day with us. Because I'll be keeping up with them all day. 
and it might take till later in the day for anything significant to occur on GameStop. He's real worried about his GameStop puts. Because they're, yeah, they're losing lots of value. GameStop's been going up. Fair enough. He says, I don't understand. Why are they still going up? Should I close out of my puts? Nah, not yet. Not yet. You already took the damage. It already went up this morning, right? So your puts lost lots of value this morning already. That was the wor That was the hard part. It starts going down right now. Your puts are gonna increase in value. So if you get out of it now, you're gonna miss the increase. Nah, oh, man, it went up too far, too fast. It just hit our resistance. S and P's getting the hammer right now. This is it. This is your chance for GameStop puts to uh, come back to life. I have an alert if it gets sketchy, I'll let you know. If it starts getting sketchy, I'll tell everyone, hey, those GameStop puts are, are about to get wrecked. But this is what you want on it. We're waiting for the S&P to get the hammer. We need the dollar bounce. Dollar's so flat. When the dollar's been so flat, GameStop's able to rally off off the Ryan Cohen tweet hype, off the speculative hype. It's not doing off the technical. Let's see if we get some damage on S and P. Maybe we'll get a nice dollar bounce here soon. It's showing some weakness already. It's a good start. We got bearish lunch hour in one hour. Let's see how the afternoon goes first. Like if you held them this far into Friday, you might as well just, just not give up on them just yet. Give it a few more hours at least or another till next week. Don't give up yet. Either way, and the bulls shouldn't give up yet either, necessarily. Just be cautious for the bulls. We want this support retest either way. It's not gonna happen unless SP gets the hammer. gonna have to give him more time and get back to him because there's not really anything more I can say for him right now. Metacrine though, dice roll. So good. Six hundred percent huge gap for target. That's why it's a dice roll. It's so high risk high roll. Cool. Perkman just posted some due diligence about high tide ink in the chat. That helps. And again, before it's too late, C pop. This is a good. This is the day trade right now. If you're looking for new short term swings, deep trades, see popping. So, this is a good entry on it right at the moment. It started blasting off pretty far already, already going up 20%. Now 
Now it's only up 8%. It's still time to get in. Or it's leaving the buy box. It's leaving our gold entry. Our hot baby. Pirate witch. Pirate witch. Pirate witch. Pirate witch. That should be lyrics in this song. I might have to remix this song. <laughs> Call it hot baby. Okay, so oil company back up. Oil's company's bouncing. About Great Panther mining, not yet. It's stable. Gold price per ounce bouncing. All right. This is confluence with S and P. S and P's red. Sevens in the chat. Watch the sevens in the chat, the SMP's red, direct fucking hit! Boom! Behold the hammering! Woo! Seven, seven, seven. <laughs> there she was! My bear's not fucking around no more, the chirp of buzz! <laughs> buzz, our chirp. Take off your headphones. Take off your headphones. Cause it just got the hammer! Guilty! <laughs> Go cut that bounce. More mind games revealing its true colors. Uh, uh, we should have done another bet. <laughs> See, I should have done the bet for the next hour. <laughs> now the bears would have won the bet. We just didn't have enough time on our bet <laughs> for our booty punch. Yeah, Camilla, exactly, man. Camilla. This is what I was talking about with those GameStop puts. That's why you didn't want to give up on them yet. But GameStop should follow this down now. Exactly. And it's beginning. I see a red candle. <laughs> From the resistance. I didn't even want to step away from the charts for a coffee break. <laughs> it's too much happening, it's too spicy. Our goods are hot. I'm gonna message Jeff real quick and uh, double check that he got that. Got the memo on C pop. <laughs> hey, uh, did you get the memo on C popping? <laughs> He's only asking about a good day trade. It's a good entry right now.
Yeah. Time for your VXX bounce. That is a pretty glorious red cancel warning. <laughs> VXX, I think I missed something that you said earlier this morning. It sounded interesting. If you want to repost it. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Sometimes I'm right in the middle of reading a great message and then that happens. Get distracted. Firefly's excited for VXX. Alright, cool. So stop losing. That's all for their confluence with this, is what I, where I was heading with the gold chart. Price per ounce on gold chart. With this bounce, it's showing us hedging against the S&P still. Check silver. <laughs> Call up Britney Spears, cause oops, I did it again. <laughs> reflect on the crude oil chart. Yeah. Bounces all around across the board. When these have been green, S&P has been red. So exactly, these are all still very green. Aha. They're all very green, so no reason S&P should be green too. Everyone's still hedging against it, buying oil and gold and Bitcoin. <laughs> uh, we might be over two T's. 1.98. Oh, we hit it. <laughs> we totally hit it. We fucking hit two T's on our total crypto market cap. We're probably way over one on altcoins. One point one three. 1.13 That's uh, quite a ways over 1T Alt season <laughs> Happy tra trading, what a day We're gonna take a quick coffee intermission now After all that <laughs> Has been a blast already Stay tuned Friday fire. There's money to be made. There's treasure to be pillaged. Nano's up 12%. Damn, I'm not gonna get it. Fuck. <laughs> you hear that real FOMO in my book? Nano's leaving the station without me. Leaving her without me. I wanted that one because I traded it way back in the day, so I always wanted to make another play on it when I was ready years later. <laughs> Let's 
going up too fast. It's pulling that drive smooth. Scout, the triggers, SMP on their lift. I spy something red. <laughs> it's not fucking around, tanking right through 450. Coffee break, baby.
SP melting big time. Here we go. Jumping back in the church. Well, this is validating. <laughs> this is pretty fucking validated. Big bite out of it. Right back below where we were before. Hey, Peck, Elgin Carp. 
It'd be but um for mowing it's just a trampoline zone. Support retest for my gold brick out box. Mowing's more of a longer term swing now, right? It's not necessarily gonna go green every day. Especially not today when the s and getting the hammer. It's going to be hard for anything to go green right now. It's one of those days, VXX day. Sundial's not going to hit a dollar by the looks of it with all this going on today. There's going to be a red day. Exactly what we need. We're down a third of a percent SP now. Mm. Dollar hasn't even bounced yet. Trampoline, no bow box. As for C pop, yeah, it's also good to go here. This is a preliminary breakout in action on the morning, clearing out of our green buy box. So it might not go too far today with all this happening now, but this has the best chance to go far today. Because of all that, where it is on the charts, it has a better chance than half the other ones. it is actively breaking out there all the charts might go red now <laughs> even C pop it has the best chance of bouncing back in the day or whatnot or having a power hour blast off at work but here is some 777 <laughs> for good luck crew and booty for the captain oh that's awesome yeah he's you bro thanks so much Hope you have a great day at work. We're doing it on the charts. <laughs> it's helping. The sevens helped. It is funny about the bet though. We took a bet at the first hour of the day. It took two hours. <laughs> now it's down. See how much damage Bitcoin would take and everything. To get some good developments here today with all that. I'm glad we're seeing something. We're finally seeing something. <laughs> it is pretty extreme. It's not just all this. Looks like it actually could be meaningful going into next week.
GameStop drop him from 150 already? X starting to spring from 25. See, the next time the S&P goes down should be the real deal. A bigger market crash. The real next step. Heading right into the real next leg down, about there, under 400. So VXX should hit an even bigger target this time around. VXX can get up to our blue box. And then S&P bounces from 400, from under 400, and this sells so off. HT is green. Yeah, Sundial is just 1%, ACB 1%. It's gotta be hard for those to keep pushing up right now. Yeah, it almost hit a dollar free market after ours. Sundial. It's just tough right now. S&P going straight down and dollar might bounce. It depends if we get this dollar bounce. And that's what's cool about the hammer on the S&P because we're not seeing it on the dollar reflecting here. You might suspect dollar would be bouncing since S&P is going down. Not yet, so that means S&P is going down all on its own. So if we get big dollar bounce today, breakout action, uh, Sundial is not going to make it very far. It will just, it will likely just consolidate around too. Going into next week. If dollar stays flat, if dollar stays in the blue range here all day, Sundial will keep going right up to our, over a dollar. Yeah, since we were cruising right to a dollar yesterday afternoon on Sundial, and it's it played around there, pre market and everything. We already have it up to 90 cents here on the chart even this morning, uh, opening. And 
it has all the chances it needs to hit a dollar right here right now if anything's gonna do it it's sundial and c-pop like the rocket fuels engaged on these how well are they gonna perform today during market crash maybe s p just kind of Stays around 450 now under the line. Could just hang around here all afternoon now. And Sundial keeps pumping. Those are all the variables where when you're trying to talk about the short term, it's all relevant. On the long term, none of that really matters right now. This is for Sundial hitting a dollar. Let's get lit. Friday, sub break. I didn't get any beer, no cold bevies. We're just gonna do what we always do. Captain, get wired on the caffeine so I can catch the church. We don't want to celebrate too much today and lose focus on what we need to know. We're just going to thoroughly enjoy it. <laughs> Make the most out of it all. So after all, it's just another day, right? <laughs> Huge, huge fucking things going on right now across the board on Bitcoin, on S&P, on our hot bevies, on AMC, GME, on every day. <laughs> on C-popping, they trade. Huge things going on. <laughs> it's funny though, it's just another day in the world, right? It's another random Friday. Another day at the office, as they say. If you know, you know. <laughs> Only a minority of traders care enough to go this deep on the charts to begin with. Most of them will just be like, oh, I'm just gonna take a GameStop dice roll and whatever. <laughs> and I don't wanna think about it too much. Yeah, Frederick, well, the UVXY, that should be similar here, that's another fair one, right? Short-term futures, another inverse, yeah, so it trades similar to VXX. It should start bouncing going green here. Oh, that's all I have on the target. <laughs> well, there you go. Hundred dollar target. Similar to VXX, all these inverse trades, they're 500% targets roughly. Even bearish real estate, even DRVs, 500%. Another inverse S&P. If it's inverse S&P, literally kind of a chart that's gonna be 500% target I don't know why they all are that target but it's true they are it's just an observation I've been 
got my green lighter. Let's throw up the buffs. Those mana pushes for those cooldowns. The boss is on in rage. <laughs> it was like a fucking. It was like a fucking level 77 elite bear. And we're only level 60, but we got a whole raid group with our powers combined. <laughs> We're gonna take him. I'm main tank. We just need more damage. We need more dots. <laughs> Range DPS, go! <laughs> melee on them just watch for AOEs <laughs> uh, to the gamers <laughs> some of you are probably trading the auction house on the other screen right now <laughs> I used to do that when I was younger and I was like, oh, I could get a lot more real life treasure playing the real life auction house. <laughs> I liked them and Moe's a lot when I was younger. Because you could play them while you're watching the charts. <laughs> Everyone's playing Elden Ring now. I haven't played it, but it's a Dark Souls game, so they're known for difficulty level. And there's all these complaints about it being too difficult <laughs> for the noobs, for the retail. It's kind of like trading. You gotta know what you're getting yourself into. <laughs> I wouldn't say it was gonna be easy. What fun's a game if there's no challenge? Chat, are you there? Are you live, chat? <laughs> Get out of the shower. <laughs> There's some pirate flags in the chat. <laughs> we got a mature audience, no one knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> seven, seven, seven. If you're older than me, you might not understand. Sorry about that. That was for the gamers. Ah uh, yeah, we got a bunch of podcast mode. Sounds good. We'll get comfy. You're just gonna just look at all the continue all afternoon. Let's get this melted here. VXX continue and um, Sundial's got the best chance it can have. <laughs> We're shooting for that over a dollar. As long as everything goes smooth, there's just all those variables right now being Friday and the market crash. 
If we get a big dollar bounce, it'll slow down Sundial and then it's not gonna happen. That's what it's coming down to. Just depends on the dollar, but not yet. See, we're still chilling on the dollar. Getting minor dollar dippies and that's helping Sundial grow and grow. So it's good to go. They're good to go, it's just uncertainties with the rest of the markets right now. Oh wow, really Frederick? Yeah, that's the journey. The last 80% of his bankroll on meme stocks recovered a bit with the GameStop run and sold too early. Well, hey, at least he recovered a bit of that. That feels good. Your risk tolerance is high, sure, so is mine. Like, unreasonably so. You can use that to your advantage. You just gotta fine tune it, man. <laughs> Watch how I do it when I get excited. It's some of the highest risk things you, charts you'll ever see. But that's where the opportunity awaits. You can be a high risk, high reward trader and be a stock pirate. There's a trick to it, there's a technique. A lot of it's overcoming your emotions. Conquering your own emotion. You still have to use conservative strategies when you're a high risk, high reward trader. There's the real fire. You can be all in sundial. <laughs> That's super high risk of penny stock, right? You can be all in sundial right now, high risk as it gets. And you can pull it off if you use conservative strategies, because you might already be up 100% and boom, you just locked in some profits and you won the trade. You don't have to dice roll, moonshot, short squeeze, go for 10x. Necessarily, to be a high risk, high reward trader, you see? There's a technique to it. Yeah, well, right now, there's really no need for options. Options are a form of leverage trading, and when we're getting moves like this, you don't really need it. No, we're getting hundreds of percents in a week or two. That's what you're trying to do out of options in the first place, really, is get hundreds of percents quickly. You can already do that just with shares on these ones. Mm. Longer term options are the better choice right now. Avoiding the short term volatility. We gotta check out Rockwell Medical. Mm. We hit that target back here. That was in January. Came all the way back down. <laughs> That's all we have for a chart on is a giant pirate witch. Round two on the pirate witch, Rockwell, and I wonder. No one was talking about it, asking about it. So I was glossing over it, but now it's up 20%, <laughs> demanding some attention. Pulling a pirate witch. Similar to C pop right now.
These ones have the most potential. Keep going, Diddy. Sundial. RMTI. Versatility. Cheap pop. Pirate wedges. <laughs> Is the SMP halted? Nah. Nope, it just feels that way. It's finally speeding up though. It's going quicker. That was a rapid decline under 450. So now the panic's kicking in with spy traders are going, oh shit, it's under 450s. I made a mistake and they're gonna sell it down more. Well, let's check a few of our bear charts because that could be revealing. If we're seeing developments on our bear charts, that's why the S&P is going down. Neo is back under 20. Etsy taking damage. Sense puts from the bear box. Other chart. Zim keeps going, Zim's getting annihilated. <laughs> yeah, these are all taking damage, is why the SP's going down. Should keep going. These are the SP, as long as these are going straight down, so will that. This is a big day for it. I think we're gonna get the real hammer today. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's be working. <laughs> Puts my puts. <laughs> my puts. We're already crushing. People are already in spy puts for forty fifty. <laughs> Yeah, okay, let's double check Hershey's. Ooh. <laughs> it's almost too good to be true. Could it be? That look good. <laughs> Where's his parts? There's our hunger for some chocolate. That's a giant double top right now. Coinciding with S&P at 450 and you saw what just happened at 450 it's Completely fighting the trend. It's awesome. <laughs> Fucking savage. It's 
just savage enough to work. The bear watch list is quite red here. Oh, Tesla, a thousand and one dollar. Here we go, Tesla puts! <laughs> we got more! Tesla fucking puts! I need to make that upside down rocket ship animation. <laughs> it is the bears riding to the moon. Tesla puts. Very well, Street Trout took a nap, but nap time's over. SMP hammer time. Tesla 999! <laughs> What's happening? It's about to get the smackdown right now. Time high sugar by Yeah, thanks streams, just it's pretty much the one off limits word. I'm sure he's talking about ridiculous. <laughs> Things are getting ridiculous, dollar bounce is happening. been all week building up to something bigger. We'll see how Bitcoin holds up. <laughs> we could stop on 40k. That wouldn't be surprising. That's a strong possibility here if we fall right through that one, which I'm not. With the dollar bounce, it makes perfect sense because dollar's about to go big. Dollar rip crypto dip. Perfect. This is basically where Hershey's is at. All right. Like how that's going too for the bears. So we are getting lots of bear moves here. With Tesla falling below a thousand. 
and stuff like this, <laughs> getting annihilated. AA puts. <laughs> so yeah, fuck GameStop puts, get AA puts instead. <laughs> I'm gonna try to watch. Everything I just showed you is up here in that area. Real targets down here. So it can have fifty percent crash. <laughs> when all these charts are about to crash fifty percent, means S and P is gonna go down more. It is bearish on shower technically, but usually it happens about an hour from now. Let's see if that means anything today. Nicola Barely Green. Alright, cool. These are the same one from this morning. So those are the strongest today. Pretty clear. They have the best chance to keep going green. GameStop has gotten resisted at that 150 though. For now. So we're gonna watch how that goes the rest of the afternoon. That's why you didn't want to panic on those puts if anyone had that. <laughs> what are you doing to me, Kirk? I shouldn't even be having to talk about that. <laughs> Shoot out. He already won Sundial real good, so you're just gonna keep holding the rest for the bigger targets later. Yeah, that's the real goal of the Sundial chart. Take it to the moon. We're not just in it for a quick leverage gone. 150%. 115%. That's not what it's all about. We've been keeping it on the radar for this $5 target. Potentially $10. We go 20x from 50 cents to $10. So that's worthwhile, that's worth waiting for. Time <laughs> enhancing. Get the real treasure out of it. That's why Sundial is not exactly a day trade. And that's why GameStop's not a day trade for AMC. Because the best thing you get out of them is the long term targets.
Alright. Well, we're right down in this area. Should have kind of walked through there, so. We don't care about GameStop for a quick 100% really. If you can catch GameStop down at $50 hot bevy, and then get a breakout from there. Go to $500. Now GameStop's a 10x trade. That's what GameStop is. It's not about a quick 100%. You can get a quick 100% on any of these other charts lately. On Mullen last week, like. The best part about GameStop AMC is if they go low enough, they can have a whole nother bubble cycle. It would be bigger and better targets. They're not worth it for a quick 100%. With all the fake out breakouts. I want to check the all coins. And first of all, Bitcoin versus SP, it is getting more and more apparent. Okay, we're getting back up. We're getting back up. Going in and out. And now we're back again. <laughs> I see what everyone else is seeing. It's definitely cutting in and out. And it kicked all the audience. Okay, sweet. A bunch of you are here. Did you have to refresh or did it just keep working automatically? Because it looks like everyone had to leave, come back. I'm not sure if it completely restarted or what. Did you have to refresh, Firefly? War Eagle, you didn't refresh? Okay, shoot, man. Sweet, it's definitely, since War Eagle said it didn't refresh, and it did pop back up, that means there was no real disconnection. Vladdy, okay, thanks, man. You just waited and I came back eventually. All right, awesome. So it's an inconvenience, but it's not gonna stop anything. We should be okay. So it has nothing to do with anyone else. It was nothing to do with, I don't know, trading view, crashing the computer or anything. That was weird, but. It happened on Monday too. Seems like a YouTube server. On oh, Swift Mischief never disconnected at all. I, I saw what you all were seeing. It was cutting in and out. So that's unusual, but the good part is it didn't stop anything. Like, I didn't have to restart the show, we were able to get right back up and going, so... For next time, if it happens again... Yeah, I was dropping some fire about the Bitcoin versus S&P. <laughs> if it happens again next time, like in a few hours... Just hang tight and we'll be back up back in a few minutes or whatnot. Oh, the head is attacked. <laughs> I 
it's annoying because it boots all the audio. It's like we're all back in good except. <laughs> That's what's annoying about it, is it kind of kicks everyone's minor speed bump. For yeah, see what the fuck is doing it again. Uh, it's making me... about the inconvenience everyone I think let's just take our coffee break while we see if this I can fix this or sort this out just chill for a few minutes take a break if you need to check back in five let's see if we can settle it down oh if that checks out It's a hundred percent absolutely cutting in and out though. It's not just you or anything. It'll pop back better in a minute. Okay. Looks like the quality's bad. Fuzzy for you, Jarhead. Let me check on my phone. Yeah, so just take a few minutes and see if this get back up to normal. go blind <laughs> you don't need glasses the screen's fuzzy I see that too
making you dizzy. <laughs> yeah, it was kinda fucked up. I was never wrapped them before. Amazing. Then it is inconvenient. Uh, it is fucking annoying. If I can't, if it doesn't fix it, I'm it. I guess we'll restart it. Show must go on. Started. I'm not sure what's up with that. Oh, hey, Panda Trader. Good to see you, but bad timing. We have a weird YouTube issues. Everyone on screen got hit with salt water. It's fuzzy. Screen's still fuzzy. <laughs> or is it back good? It actually looks pretty decent on my phone. Are we clear now? Everyone, it looks good on my phone now. I think we're good. If you can read the numbers on the screen nice and clear, put some sevens in the chat. Good for Ben, 42. Looks good. Okay, sweet. I think we're back and run and then. That was very strange. if that happens again. Try refreshing Flatty and check your settings. <laughs> yeah, looks nice and clear on my phone. Oh shoot. See the weirdest part when something like that happens? Now we're all good. Um, if it's still fuzzy, double check your quality settings on the video. It should be clear now. even refresh if you have to. The weirdest part is yeah, it's better now. All of a sudden, the only thing that really happened was the audience got booted. <laughs> I 
the show didn't end. My computer didn't crash or anything. So everyone got kicked or had to refresh and leave and come back. So it's pretty much the only thing that ends up happening is the audience is getting booted. It's kind of fucked up. All right, cool. Well, refreshing it, fix it for Pam. If something not happens again, it shouldn't be annoying every time. I imagine it was just a hiccup on YouTube or something. So it is. But I need to know when it's happening so I can double check and not just keep talking about the charts. <laughs> Thanks everyone. Looks like we didn't miss much in the meantime. s and still fucking around. At 449.99. You gotta be kidding me. Right in the middle of bear lunch. Now we're going into real bear lunch. Tilray's still cruising though. Sundial 79 cents. Making another go. They have the best chance or not. MC Pop. They're getting massive buying pressure off the news. Outperforming the entire market. <laughs> yeah, the chat was making too much good trades. <laughs> That's what happened. We pillaged too much treasure. The hedges don't like that. Those are strange ones to be double digits today though. Besides that, a bunch of 5%s. I think taking damage. Mullins literally bottom of list. Most red chart today. In the trampoline zone. Short term action on long term chart, okay. Nice Diego bought Sundial yesterday. Yeah, it really was obvious entries under 50 cents when we saw it down there. Now, there's no slowing down. It's gonna keep going until it blasts through a dollar, just generally speaking. <laughs> sure, there will be speed bumps, there will be some profit ticking areas, whatnot, but it's gonna blast right through. Up to like 120.
funny. Right, three hundred dollars. Yeah, this is moving too far too fast, so probably will retrace from there. Sell off a lot. Go back down to this area now before heading back up in the longer term. That's why we're just focusing on these more conservative, shorter term targets here. If you can get your quick 100% profits out of it and then hold the rest for after. If it takes a lot longer. Do have our alert ready to go for that. S and P is still taking major damage, so hmm. I'm glad it started now. <laughs> we would like to cover some more distance here, bearish lunch hour. Not just bounce around 450 all day. There's no need to do that. We already did that for like six months. <laughs> we already had the battle over 450. No more 450 battle. Spy puts. I'm verbalizing. <laughs> if I say it enough, I hope it go down to my boots. <sighs> Lots of our favorite charts on the bottom of list today, and that's fine. The grind at 297, not a big deal. They're still in the middle of popcorn bounces. Hot baby territory. They're getting in that ride at $3. Great entry. Still have time to be accumulating those, which is neat. Our altcoins? Damn, we're running out of time on our altcoins. That's what really is a problem here. Our crypto crew. Got a time to get the altcoins. They are going up 50%, 100%. <laughs> They're moving as fast as Mullen a lot of them. They're where we left off yesterday though, at the moment. Bitcoin is taking the lead right now for the 50k push. So after Bitcoin hits 50k, the altcoins would get another boost. Dash and Litecoin might double. Litecoin can go back to 300 with that. Once in a while, Terry does have a day to shine where it takes the lead, has a great rally. This is going on for it today. It's one of the more popular mainstream MM plays. It's one of the quicker moving ones. It moves a bit quicker than Sundial with all the FOMO. Probably it's not as good a entry as Sundial right this moment. So let's double check. Yeah. 
Depends where you got it in. If you got it right down at 5, that's a good 10x. Some of my other bigger targets. Some dials more like 20x under recovery. So this would be a 10x recovery to get back to last year's pump. Which is great. But Sundial's 20x. The benefit is Tilray moves a bit faster, I suppose. That could be a good thing about it. The reason why you like it more than Sundial, potentially. Or you like the slow and steady nature of Sundial where it has more potential to grow in the long term. That's the benefit of Sundial that Tilray doesn't have. So here's our Sundial recovery if we go from here to last year. I will <laughs> hang on. Not right now, it's from the entry. It's already gone up a lot. If you got Sundial under 50 cents, recovery to last year. Okay. I will forget last year we're going for this. Well, that's 10x too. That's our $5 target, $10 target. There's the 20x. That's what we're going for on Sundial, not just last year. Not just that. I was thinking of um, Castro Maritime as insane recovery targets just the last year and Naked Central too. That's just the last year. 20x. Central from a dollar to forty dollars, fifty dollars, fifty x. Those targets are bigger than Toray. Here's why. Because without even checking it, you can already tell that Toray's market cap is going to be bigger. Four billion dollar Toray market cap. Sundials around a billion, I think. Sure. One and a half. So Tilray is already like three times bigger than Sundial right now. Smaller market cap. ACB. One billion Canadian. These are actually the smaller market cap and then place Shandile ACB so they have more room to grow. Of course CBDT is fucking top of the list. This is this is a tiny market cap one. So that's all part of it as well. You can see it on this chart. CBD of Denver, Wall Street, Bet put it's so small it's not even listed. It's probably like 50 million market cap, something like that. If that's in dollars, it's five hundred thousand dollars, five uh, million, tiny. Uh, 
I thought it was point zero zero four per share. Micro penny suck. Micro cap. That's what makes a crazy Wall Street bet play. These are the kind of things that you hear about on Wall Street bet, like short squeezes and 20x, 50x targets. Tillery's not gonna go 50x because that would be like a hundred billion dollar company. <laughs> trillion dollar company or something absurd impossible for that kind of market cap Tesla's roughly about the same size of Bitcoin which one do you think is more valuable to society though In the long term future. Like 20 years from now, what will be more beneficial for society? And progress humanity further. Will it be a fucking a, an electric car company? Or like, will we really be going to Mars by then? I'm skeptical. Even if he does, I don't know why he would want to. I don't even go on a fucking Mars boy tangent. Those Mars boys, those are worse than the moon boys. <laughs> What's up with all those Mars boys? There's like, want to go live on a colony on Mars where there's no water or plants or oxygen. Or friends or internet or anything. Why the fuck would you want to go to live on Mars? <laughs> like... I don't think many people are actually gonna want to do that. Even if they could. Mm, we're getting some action on Urban One. You owe Andy. Long term sport gem line. This is a chart from a while ago. <laughs> now it's fucking lit. What? It's that dormant volcano! <laughs> yeah, but do you really dream Tesla because it's not just a car company? Yeah, but what? They're gonna go colonize Mars? That doesn't sound very attractive. Bitcoin's here right now, taking over the world. <laughs> like, there's no stopping that freight train. It's the most revolutionary thing that's been invented for the past like 50 years since cryptography was first invented, code cracking was first invented. Yeah, for sure. Governments are already talking about making their own digital dollar. They want to get in on it, but the point, the fact that they're trying to create their own means they're not able to control the one that's already out there. The fact that they're trying to make federal crypto, <laughs> like Fedcoin, 
their own digital dollar essentially with the governments that means that they want to get into crypto right they want more control over crypto and why are they making their own project because they can't get control over the one that already exists stream disconnect <laughs> So definitely they'll try and keep propagating that. And you'll have the choice. Do you want to use theirs or do you want to use the one, the coin of the people? <laughs> do you want to use their crypto or do you want to use the people's crypto? All the ones that are currently out there, decentralized, more... Uh, The gold chart's insane. They control gold, the Federal Reserve, right? You know the Fort Knox, they have all those gold bars stored away, supposedly. Can you look at the yeah, for sure. Oh, keeping it real. <laughs> I keep it real. Good to see you. My goodness, there's some friends. Swift Mischief with the sevens. Thanks, y'all. That's all you, I know you want me to keep it real. <laughs> yeah, just to finish that thought. They got control of all the gold back here with the Federal Reserve. And then it did this. That's why the US is viewed as one of the most powerful countries economically in the world. <laughs> they want to do that with Bitcoin. They want to do that with crypto too. Of course they do. They're going to try it with Fedcoin. If crypto is already doing this, they can't stop Bitcoin. So they're trying to make their own instead. Did it ruin the Christmas or something? She was doing work, good work on my charts during the December storm and everything. It was hard to keep up with it all. Um, Sometimes I get off on other topics while we're waiting for developments on the charts or whatnot. And I don't always get around to every question in the chat, which I'm with this. So here's V on V E O M. At the all time low, she knows what to look for. What I'm uh, pondering, what I'm brainstorming, is this a big bear trap? This is long term. Let's see how it looks down here. Okay. Interesting. Could be on a pirate wedge. Here's December. November, December. Very good pirate wedge targets. Make sure there's some movement on the indicators. Yeah. Oh, 
time we're on the weekly. Oversold, undervalued. This looks like a bear trap, and it's very bouncy. You would probably want a stopwatch, though. Alright. Now that we have a better feel for the long term chart, all time low, because this is where most of our hot debbies are. It looks like it could fit our requirements. Check it out more on the immediate area. Hey, Primus, have a good day. <laughs> It looks pretty decent down in this area. In the current. Hey Alexandra. Some dials in great shape today. Oh, you were excited about that yesterday. This all looks good because it is bear trap. Successful. Small gap felt target. Support. Or bounce putting in the pirate wedge target back to November December up here to two dollar so keeping it real is actually trying to go huge crush it all the way up to two dollar 150 to two dollars here nice one I see you done Had a lot to deal with to keep them at real family illnesses and many other things, best wishes. Let's get her some sevens in the chat. <laughs> seven, seven, seven. Oh, awesome, yeah. Well, you're always welcome. Love to have you. She's looking forward to coming back aboard Discord again. You're not the only one who had to take some time off. It's a good time to be getting back into the swing of things. What'd you miss for lunch break? CBDD won 30%. <laughs> I saw that. I didn't want to change the topic. <laughs> Fucking Wall Street bet. Thanks for all moonshot. This is top of the list at 130%. It's up 20% currently. Yeah, it's crushing it today. <laughs> Pretty funny. Look how simple and clean that chart is. <laughs> Nico hit ten dollars. <laughs> Nico hit ten dollar one penny. Bust off.
Go break out box confirm. That's our support down. <laughs> That's not coming back down under 10. Oh, shit. <laughs> Going for the gold. Pick up balls, let's go. <laughs> It's not about getting 10, like, fuck 10, it's about 10's about to lead into 20 to 50. <laughs> we had it on Mullen, we had it on Centro, it's time for Nicola. Pop up to 20. And ride. <laughs> That's one big pirate wedge. <laughs> I get some pumpage from Tesla selling off. Need more Tesla selling off so that the Tesla traders are FOMOing into Nikola and Ride. Yeah, keep it real, and of course I care, so it's touching. I have empathy for you. But know that everyone here has been doing well. Um, not many plank walkers, not many falling overboard. People are learning a lot. Because everything's so intense that they're learning through experience, through seeing it happen. Doesn't get any harder than this. Middle of a market crash, and they're starting to all go green again on their diamond hands. It's really just starting to get good again, so. I think that's relatable. I think a lot of the crew can relate with that. That's part of what our community is, has the potential to keep being is good support group of real friends. Well, we'll just throw you a seven in the chat if you need it. If you're having a tough day. Happy trading. We're gonna have a quick coffee intermission. Uh, we're backed up and running smooth. I never got to make my coffee earlier. Let me know if there's any more quality drops or anything. Probably right before the bell. <laughs> Just kidding. Is Rockwell medical on the left? 
one of our pirate witches today. <laughs> Oh, see Pop's popping again, too. Very cool. These ones are continuing. Because it's not too extreme on SMP. So Sundial can keep going to a dollar if it's not too extreme for, <laughs> for the next few hours. SMP starts tanking again right now. And it's gonna drop back down on Sundial. Alexandra, great questions. She goes, how does this work? How do I look at stocks that I want to invest in? Hey, we got a brand new member. Fuck yeah, let's go. Let's keep it real. Sick. I was just going to throw a life vest to Alexandra. Hey, congratulations. You're welcome to join us too, Alexandra. I'll give you a free month trial to join us on Discord. So we can pop into our website and talk to everyone there about that kind of thing. How to get started. Because there's too much info to even really cover it in the chat. But we're happy to talk about it all right there. Sundial 0 0.7777. <laughs> Just send me an email, I'll hook you up. questions that uh, we can go into more detail on Discord about. I remember that you mentioned you were just getting started. Let's try and help out Alexandra and Discord. <laughs> You have what it takes, that's the spirit. <laughs> Willing to learn, watching the show even if you're brand new. Very cool, we'll try and help you out. Yeah, Becky was here this morning, keep it real. I think. <laughs> or yesterday. She's around. I'll tell her you said hi. Thank you. 
Could have break it. Oh boy, we're gonna have to do another bet on S and P, aren't we? <laughs> Longer than an hour or something. All right, for a redemption of earlier, we're gonna have a redemption bet from earlier. We're gonna give it till the end of the day. We're ready for the hammer to drop in the morning. Still in the process right now, in the middle of the day. So. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't just bounce all around here for the next few hours. Either way, let's let's take a poll, let's take a bet above or under for end of the day. Not just an hour from now. Maybe it'll battle it out the very end of the day, I don't know. See. <laughs> Hopefully we get something more decisive before that. That was a great start with the hammer in the process. You know how that indeed goes. That's open. We can bet above or under for 450 and a day SP. Next two and a half hours, not just in the next hour, not right now. End of day. What's it gonna be? Friday. We didn't want yesterday to end. We were fighting the bell because we were waiting for this. It was behaving ridiculous this morning, so maybe now it's gonna be more. Revealing of the true colors on Friday afternoon, stop playing mind games and just make some real distance on it. <laughs> Maybe no one will even bet above this time. Last time, the ones who bet above won. And if anyone wants to play the odds. <laughs> Sometimes it's fun to take the other side of the trade, just the other side of the pole. Uh, one person took the bait. <laughs> Hagar Grizzly's going against everyone. Hey, 
deal of coconut balance it goes at 450. That VXX is looking primed and ready to go. Everything else is pointing at that. Uh, we Let's see if we got a dollar move yet. Just... No, not on the, really on the dollar just yet. So everything's somewhat flat at the moment. Even Bitcoin. HT Good old Ashford hospitality person. It's not going to be single digits much longer It's creeping up there Out of the hot baby Nvidia puts are very valid, Tesla puts being that those are bearish as fuck right now. I have to expect it to continue. Kelly won a ton of booty coins on the slots yesterday. The slots are hard to win, but if you win, you get a big reward. <laughs> Nano's pulling at Jasmine. These are gonna keep continuing upwards. These undervalued altcoins, there's no reason for them to stop. Even if Bitcoin sells off. Sure, Jasmine might hit a speed bump in that case. It's just a speed bump. is epic for the nano holders if you bought the dipper I just wanted to get some before it went too far and now I'm not sure I want to enter it and where will it be next month if I'm trying to accumulate it for a few months it'll be way up here by then over five cents and Vitor was on the top of the list yesterday I would like to top off my Vitor a bit before that goes up too far I really need that, 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 that
We really want to try and get these when they're on the long-term support down here. Before they bounce 100%, 200%. So if he, if he throws up 200% next month, that changes things. It's kind of like how Dash went well over $100. Like, hang on a second, that changes things. Still a good entry, but not quite the same as that $90 entry. Is there a yellow light? Light coin? Giant magic triangle? Is that on the yellow light? Here's Litecoin versus Ethereum. Pretty much crushing it. Litecoin is clearly outperforming Ethereum ever since November. Everyone wants to hear Scallywag's good news, amazing news. Tell us it better be amazing. <laughs> Pressure is on now, Scally. Yeah, we're gonna need that bet to, <laughs> for the end of day now. This really is gonna drag to the very end of day, isn't it? <laughs> SMP. Ridiculous. Rockwell's pushing up highest point today. We're just here. A little over a month ago. Round two pirate witch. I think the MM ones could really keep going. We got a real move on Terry here. I hope it does. We could use a nice 10x on Sendile for the crew. This is the best chance Sendile has had all last year to get up to this $3, $5 target. Took over lives 401k two years ago and moved around investments. Just found out the move made 200k. Can't take out until retirement, but yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, nice, man. Good time uh, for a long <laughs> entry. 
Thanks, Scotty Wagon, not worried enough. I only digest that. <laughs> took his, took over the wife's 401k a couple years ago, made some trades, moved around investments, and it's up 200 grand. Oh yeah. I don't only. <laughs> I would expect nothing less out of you. <laughs> I'm only bummed that you can't fire cannons with that at crypto or something. <laughs> I would be extra excited if you were able to use that. So you can't take it out to retirement. Oh, that's a bad part. <laughs> but a nice word nonetheless. I choose that's good. And he's going for some of those longer term ones, so that's exactly what he's looking for. Really, he likes coupang. Just getting into crypto. Yesterday, he said it was his first crypto entry, too. Well, that's how he's doing it, I suppose. He got those nice 200k profits in his retirement. Is. So he's using some extra dry powder to enter crypto. He doesn't have to like pull out of his retirement to buy crypto. CNN for a long scout. Scary Wag, you have to tell me more on Discord too. Give us all the deets. <laughs> yeah, this will probably get some Friday FOMO here. Not bored enough for you thinking just for an ended day. Quick long scout. For a long entry, he said. <laughs> Scotty Wag, you'll be getting lots of loving from your wife after that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool that you didn't realize you just got a surprise on it. <laughs> he asked the wife if he could take it out early, she said go plank yourself. <laughs> Oh, long term up to on some joke? Okay. Yeah, actually, while well, it's under this yellow line, it was over the yellow line yesterday, this morning. <laughs> we got just enough time for an entry on it. I can get some Friday FOMO right here and just end Friday above the line uh, next week. Cruising up to six dollar, so it's pretty good for a short-term swing if you had a stop lot. But if you're going for longer, that's right where you want it before it makes this move. You don't want to enter your long hold halfway up here. Get in what's still under the yellow line there. So when that happens. And then you should be able to, because when it busts through the yellow line, right, you get it under the yellow line, and then it pops above, it's looking to stay above that yellow line afterwards, meaning you'll stay in profits on it. It'll never go back to your original entry down there. 
Yeah, so this is going to be bullish short term, mid term, long term now. Kind of like Mullen, except a bit earlier in the cycle. The Mullen's pretty much already up here. Mullen already hit this basically. Just coming down like this. So Mullen's more down here right now. In the middle going for that magic number target after. Molinari crushed our 500% target. <laughs> Centro's halfway up through that first 500% rally. Now I'm sure everyone's curious about Mullins. Yeah, much of it. We're in the middle of our bull box. Piece of trampoline. Uh, don't be surprised if we get a $2 stop on. Stop out all those traders at two dollars. We're going for the bigger, better targets, the magic number on the long term. And this is all why Mullins more of a longer term swing now, longer term hold, rather than a quick go trade like back here. Just went straight up for a day and then straight down the next day. It's not that anymore. <laughs> Anyone still in that theory of pharmaceuticals? Ooh, <laughs> straight up. That's short term though. Mid term. Nah. Uh, we are trading it back here, that's why I'm asking is anyone still in Ethereum? This is one of our old dice roll plays like Sesson. Back in that time. Throw back to dice roll session. Forward retracement during the December January paper handing. Now nah, it's just parabolic. More in the long term. Dice roll session is probably just as good. Last time we were trading session. I guess this is why no one's <laughs> asking about it. Funny enough, these ones are primed and ready to go now. <laughs> Fucking dice roll session all over again. For that longer term target now. Because we hit a good short term on it months ago. Yo, Freddy. <laughs> uh oh. I better click off the chart. He has his session of the hot bevy. <laughs> uh, 
I think we still got some session PTSD in the crew. <laughs> It's as dice rolly as it gets. Like flip a coin if it's really gonna do this or not. And that's how it was months ago. Some people love it because they made out good on it. Other people absolutely hate it because they fucked it up. They're better ones. They're it is for what it is. It's a hot bevy for what this is. Being a wild Tyra Skyro or Dice Roll. Where you don't even really check the chart. You just make an entry on it and then you check it a couple months later and see if it's moved yet. <laughs> There are way better choices like Sundial because they're going off the retail hype rally with the news about federal legalization potential. And there's that good news around the medical marijuana industry. You got extra rocket fuel for Tilray and Sundial. You're better off just trading those instead of session. <laughs> yeah, that's why it hasn't gone up yet. All the moon boys, the coconuts accidentally bought Sensonix instead of Session. <laughs> they spelled it backwards. Straight up. Straight down. <laughs> Bart Simpson. <laughs> we want them going this way, like Sphere 3D. See him? Straight 3D? Keep my shorts. There he is. We want him going this direction. Hit our twenty dollar target bull run from two dollars to twenty dollars. Sure three D Crypto mining. Wow. 
One of these days, man. T-Cat started going. I mean, C should be next. Strictly be mad. Other crypto suck. Oh, shit. Emergency. Trading emergency. <laughs> T Flowers is about to paper hand. Can we go over Camber Energy quickly? I don't know what WTF is happening here, but I'm about to paper hand for something else. Oh, this is right, Elliot, we've count, okay. That's also valid. Reach a dollar right there. It's just such like consolidation. <laughs> That's why you don't know what's happening. Exactly. That's kind of what consolidation is. You're, you want to ignore all that shit. Alright. Focus on the colors here, so we got our gold zone below. That's our old gold breakout box. Oh, sent it huge back here. That's still important. Just in case it goes down that far, bounce from there again. We have this green dash which is acting as a bit of a short-term resistance so uh, between this green dash and this one with the gold zone you could say it's range bound it's stuck in this range between those two green it'll just chop around here until something bigger happens you don't want to fuck around with it too much in there that's why you're getting confused looking at the chart so, if we ignore all that... Let's just say we completely blasted it out. And now there's... you don't even know what's happening in there. Let's say you don't even know. Because it doesn't matter. Because you shouldn't look at the chart too much until we get a bigger move. Once it does clear through here, it doesn't really matter what's happening in here, but when we get a dollar dip, or let's say it hits the top of the box and then bounces, when it does get up here and break through, boom, big targets. These are the areas that make you doubt yourself and change your mind every day. So one day it's going up a lot and you feel bullish and excited and the next day it's going down and you get disappointed. And again and again and again and again. <laughs> it's kind of like Mullen as well where it was good quick long scalps back here on the left that time's over it's not really that kind of trade anymore it's more of a swing over the mid long term it could take three months to go up there until after the market crashes over but nonetheless it's not really a day trade right now like that 
to just think it's gonna break out any, any minute or something like that. Yeah, so it's normal to be confused when there's weird shit like that going on. And all the volatility, those are all part of the mind games because the dollar's are a mess and the S&P's a mess and it's up I got it over for me. It's gonna go to the very end of the day. <laughs> Apparently there's gonna be a 450 end of day battle. Dude, those are the kind of things that would drive you mad if you're trying to trade it and, or, and you watch the chart too much because could take all week next week too. And then like Thursday, Friday, you really go down. You can't really watch it that closely. You just want to wait to get a bigger development. We haven't got the dollar popped yet. No dollar breakout. Time sticking though for end of day. Um, this is good for the bullish stocks. Tilray's getting over eight dollars with this move. Rockwell's continuing that RMTI one. And maybe Camber Energy will bounce because <laughs> all this in the AMC and GameStop. For sundial, 80 cents. And C pot, our day trade earlier, stuff like that. Nicola, 1015. Crushing right through 10. So there's a good part about this. Well, nothing too extreme on SP, things go green. We got that huge swipe though. The bear did some damage there. That turned it around instantly. So it's getting spicy. Stuff like this is what I mean about getting lost in the sauce. Your triggers get lost in the sauce. Always up, down, all around. Red, green, red, green, 450 stuff. <laughs> yeah, trust the charts there. Expect this balance to be restored. As inevitably, it makes perfect sense dollar would keep going up here. No matter what number the S&P is right now. Dollar's gotta get up here. You know what happens when dollar goes up. That's what happened all of fucking December, January. Things get brutal, turn very red when the dollar goes up. This still needs to happen here. It's very close to breaking out, getting it all over.
Well, first of all, here's the balance being restored that I'm talking about. VXX SP, overvalued, undervalued. The reasonable expectation and logic would uh, suggest that this balance will be restored inevitably over time. It's just taking fucking forever because it's the slowest market crash that's ever happened before. Literally. The last market crash took one month. One month. This one's, we're in five months now. You remember the 2020 market crash? That was fucking happened quick. <laughs> yeah, you can. You're allowed to say the A word in the chat. Of course, I'm talking about AMC. We're keeping up with AMC, DM you now. Cause it has real potential now. It wasn't worth trading for probably six months there. So we avoided it. Now it's got opportunity, it's worth looking at. Hey Darth, back until death. <laughs> oh, I gotcha. Darth back until death. <laughs> Is that crazy volume on Sundial? Bought a long time ago. <laughs> What's your cost average? Yeah, Sundial a long time ago and hasn't looked at it till right now. That's a nice surprise. There's gotta be lots of volume coming through on it. These moves. Check on the longer term. Uh, some good candles picking up. enough to be meaningful it's not just one spike <laughs> sundials kicking in literally end on the church nice you got it at 34 cents oh you're good to go then yeah i took it Recover the last year's value. This is a good target here. About halfway up. Let's say 250. Because it tops four or five dollar. Two two fifty. That'd be a good target on those early, early entries. Or for any of uh, <laughs> any of the stock pirates who pillage it at 50 cents, it could be a good first target on it as well. Get some initial profits out of it, but then holding the rest for longer term. After that, it can go. It does have potential to hit up to ten dollars. <laughs> That's pretty fucking good. Even if you got in fifty cents rather than thirty cents. 
couple of years ago from our hot baby from 50 cents ten dollars ultimate target 20x that's why sundial is more of a 20x trade than a 10x set it and forget it and one day it might really hit that ten dollar target Because you gotta realize once it starts trading around in the multiples of dollars, dollar range, starts hitting $2. Well, if it is $2, it could double and hit $4. Damn, if it is $4, that's pretty close to $7. And $7 is right up at 10. Once it starts trading around multiple dollars, There are big percent moves down here. The real exponential growth happens when you get in down here and then it's trading around up here. After it clears this entire fucking area in the long term. We just block all that out again like the last chart. Once it clears that entire area, it's just trading from like $2 to $4 to $3 to 6 to <laughs> 3 to 7 to 10 That's where those early entries really pay off. There are going to be traders later on who FOMO in at like $3 and they're excited about it potentially going to 6 or 10 from three that's not what it's all about getting dirt cheap wait till it gets up there and then you're up 20x because you're early and you were brave pillaging it for cheap when no one else was talking about it now everyone's fucking talking about it from all and then pushing up the price don't let them get from your diamond hands too easy They want what you got, and I got what you need. Oh, we have a duel going on between the moderator and Scott. <laughs> hey, Scott. <laughs> you want his 200 grand retirement account trade? He want his duel with Robert. This guy likes having a good day. So are we on the S&P, but we're fighting about now. <laughs> An hour and 50 minutes, that's not that much time make much distance so it battle of 450 end of fucking day of course <laughs> it's probably gonna be right on the line end of day it'll be playing around 49.99 Bitcoin continue to know getting good bounces
Bitcoin's getting bounced Friday afternoon. Perhaps DCAT start moving, grooving. Um, okay. Still fresh for this last move. Because we hit the gold breakout box, we did not get that continuation there on TCAT. That's that's kind of like GameStop right now. Let's check that. Where did those make it to end the day? Nowhere new. That's similar to GameStop right here. It's a big challenge, a big feat for them to clear those gold breakout boxes. They usually hit it, but then they do sell off from their test of support again. I'm sure AMC hasn't moved too much. Oh. Came down a bit though. So just like GameStop makes perfect sense to come back down and retest support and that's the big the most important crucial area so it's really coming down to not so much the resistance more the support to go up because mullen's similar this is what mullen's doing Just like that AMC run. It had to come back down for support retest to make sure it's bullish enough to continue to the longer term target. Well no, we're heading to 777 on Moen. Oh I wish we <laughs> I guess we better blast out some sevens in the tet. Let's get around the sevens in the tet. Seven, seven, seven. <laughs> All that dice rolls. Dice rolls and sevens in the chat. <laughs> this is part of what makes today important. We could get an epic bounce on Mullen just power hour and then we would know by the end of the day. Holy shit, we got the epic bounce on Moon. That's kind of where Bitcoin's at currently. Going for pretty epic bounce. Very end of the day. Over 50, uh, 45,000. Heading, cruising right up to 50,000 before we even know it. Get out of the shower, don't blink. <laughs> nice, that's what's happening to the chat. Let's go. You can seal the deal on a few of these things by the end of the day. If Bitcoin, see, there's a lot that could happen with all these variables. Bitcoin's really running the last hour to a day we could get a nice move on tcat on that and trip to d tower is still going sundial i mean sundial should continue too both of those are going hand in bought hand the icp dip at 18 dollars and 60 cents 800 plus coins now <laughs> Nice pillaging, not bored enough. Thanks a lot, man. That's cool, you're excited about that. Because um, it's starting to become one of the more popular altcoins. Being under 20 entries. Are you going for a thousand coins? <laughs> He's got 800 ICP. Are you gonna try and make that a <laughs> nice round thousand?
And that's one of the ones, as soon as it pops over 20 and you're nice and green on it on ICP, it shouldn't go back under 20. The last Bitcoin crashed randomly. It's had some huge paper hands overnight or something. <laughs> Bitcoin can always instantly reverse here and just start tanking all of a sudden. That's okay even if it does right now, because we're still in that nice range. We're, st we're still way above 3, 4, 5 and everything. Even if it did randomly drop overnight or something, or over the weekend, let's say. I'll just talk about it all for over the weekend. Let's say it unexpectedly did, it's okay because there's so much padding, cushion down here. It would have to really go a far way down to be significant, to actually matter. Because we're just range bound, it's been down there before, it didn't matter, it bounced up instantly. So even if it did drop all the way down to 3, 4, 5, we'd just be expecting another bounce. Doesn't even really matter. <laughs> Between 35,000 and 45,000. It can do that as many times as it wants. Could do it 10 more times. Up, down, up, down. From 35 to 45. But look how close it is to clearing right through. <laughs> this is the best chance it has right now off this giant rounding bottom. And there's nothing too extreme on S&P yet, so that is the good part about it. So. If we finish the day as it looks right now, this can continue all weekend long, and that's how it clears. Because the stock market's closed over the weekend, there can't be a market crash on Saturday. So Bitcoin's free to do its own thing and keep growing all weekend long. dollar only questions anything else bigger gonna happen there end of the day otherwise sundial and tillery booming acb's picking back up okay cool the ones that were up this, uh, quite a bit this morning some of them opened up closer to 10 percent and then they drop back down to one percent now ACB's back up, finishing the day where it started, up 10%. That's <laughs> from yesterday. ACB's up a lot more from yesterday, 25% from yesterday. We're right on top of ACB. I always liked that for a hot baby on the long term it is such a pretty chart. Doesn't get any better. <laughs> hot beverage. We still got the bet for uh, end of day, above or underneath 450 S&P. Same question as this morning. <laughs> we've been above, we've been under, 
We're above currently, or are we gonna go under again? <laughs> FIT, I believe. One million more at the dip, two million vetho, and counting seven, seven, seven. Damn. Sounds good, Scout. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, perfect. Double down on Vitor. Millions of Vitor is a good goal. Millions of Dogecoin doesn't mean much. <laughs> How many, um... Doge millionaires do we have out there? How <laughs> many Dogeers? Dogeionaires? Shiba billionaires? Shibillionaires? Who have billions of Shiba coin but they're all worthless. <laughs> like 0 0.0001 pennies per Shiba or something. What's fire about Vitor? Oh, I got pulled. Don't get me too excited. <laughs> Damn, Scally, that was probably you pumping the price. <laughs> I wonder why it's been going up so much. Save some for the rest of us. <laughs> ah! This is a sweet spot on the price, right? 0 0.003. So it's a third of a penny. One third of one penny. It's not a penny, but it's not microscopic either. It's not like 0 0.0003. It's almost half of a penny. So on this next big bounce, following BTC upwards, of course. That's why we're excited about Bitcoin cruising to 50,000. Bitcoin heads up 50,000 even just over the weekend that we can get these bounces here. And all of a sudden it's up couple hundred percent and now we're at one penny one cent per Vitor that's starting to add up after it goes over one cent then it's trading in multiples of pennies never goes under a penny again it's trading up at three cents like last year it went up to three pennies we're one tenth of that right now. 0 0.03 compared to right now, 0 0.003. So we get up there, 10x. <laughs> Start trading around those numbers, those digits, those multiples. Then it can go to the 5 cents, 10 cents, 20 cents. <laughs> Thirty cents, and then all of a sudden we're talking a fucking hundred x target. <laughs> it's over nine thousand. <laughs> Ten thousand percent targets. It's a good sweet spot at those digits, those multiples, rather than 0 .0000 with Shiba or whatever. Shiba is 0 .00024 <laughs> per coin. <laughs> That's not gonna get to a penny.
Shiba, <laughs> Shiba has to go 414 times bigger than now to get to one penny. Damn. I think that's gonna happen anytime soon. Shiba's market cap again, something absurd already. <laughs> Thirteen billion dollars, yeah right. <laughs> what? Thirteen Thirteen billion dollars times four hundred and fourteen? <laughs> Five and a half trillion dollars. <laughs> Shiba coin would need a five trillion dollar market cap to go to one penny. That's five times bigger than Bitcoin. I don't think Shiba coins are gonna go five times bigger than Bitcoin. I really don't. What's hotter, Grayscale Litecoin or Vitor? Oh, they're just different flavors. That's like, what's hotter, Bonds or Brunette? <laughs> That's like, what's the best ice cream flavor? Chocolate or strawberry or vanilla? <laughs> There's no bad choice there. If I had to pick between one or the other, I would pick both. <laughs> I wonder how Dutch going sold it enough anyway for fun. It is very weak compared to all the other altcoins the whole way. That's still very ugly. Ugly as ugly gets. Going for a swim. <laughs> we'll get it when it's time to ride in a hot baby. One day we'll buy some dirt cheap Dutch <laughs> when it's ready. <laughs> <laughs> TAL longer term than ACB? Pretty much, Frederick. Uh, yeah, we really don't know how long TAL will truly take. Because it is a China stock. Those are the variables where you really have no control over what's happening overseas there, so...
We don't know exactly what it's gonna take to be the catalyst there. Whereas, alright, compared to yo, China recovery play like that, China lockdown recovery. All time world hot baby. Solid on the charts, so far so good. Nice epic bounce action and everything. But we don't really know how long it would take here, if that's like three months or three years. <laughs> So that's why you have to be prepared to commit to these the longer term hot baby diamond hands ones like this commit to it as a diamond hands type of trade not expecting it to go up soon but when it starts going up it'll be a nice surprise <laughs> could go fast once it begins rides popping over three again Definitely noticeable ride getting over 3 and nickel over 10. Virgin Galactic's next. Get over 10 Virgin Galactic's. Room. And Blackberry. But consider that on TAL with the speculation about China lockdown recovery. Time frame kind of unknown. Hopefully, if you're entering ones like this, you're able to lower your cost average or get them low enough because a lot of traders are already seeing green on top. So hopefully you got them low where you're starting to get green on those long-term holds so you're not too worried about how long it's going to take. <clears throat> Compare that to the medical marijuana rally this week. Where there's just a flood of money entering stuff like Tilray and Sundial, all their retails FOMOing in, they don't want to miss out on the the big news. <laughs> so we're gonna take our last trading intermission, heading into power hour soon. We got an hour thirty on the bell. Depending where Bitcoin's at end of the day, we may or may not do a cryptocurrency. We'll see. Depends if there's some action on Bitcoin end of the day. Otherwise, it's right on track. Thanks, everyone. Get the cannons ready for power hour. <laughs> Put up the shields, buckle the hatches, hatten down the hatches. Time for that Friday FOMO. About the dollar on sundial by the looks of it in the day. Not yesterday, today's that day. We just ran out of time. That's all.
Jumping back in the church. <laughs> getting it. We're getting the end of day one. Ten minutes power. This is what we wanted on some battle yesterday. So of course trades like this, pirate wedges, nice swings, going out. These are your day trades always right now. Like these look for good day trades too. But you gotta be careful with stop losses and make sure you monitor it throughout the day. You can't really just FOMO in and cross your fingers. Because they could have sold off more today too. Yeah, balancer is still solid, Cody. That's the appropriate word for it. There we go. Hot baby bounce. <laughs> I got 15 booty, I'm definitely playing some slots. Poop for me, why easy little sis? <laughs> that was funny. I get it. Shout out to you, he's his little sister. Demo trading one, three sparkling hot. <laughs> I won that fucking slot roll, let's go! Oh, sorry, you <laughs> Sorry, you <Yoshi. laughs> 
Earmuffs. <laughs> I've been untouched. She said poop. She started it. <laughs> I just want ten, 60 booty. <laughs> Thanks for the poop. That must have helped one the booty. <laughs> yeah, easy, sister. You should give her a high five for that one. We got good luck today. We got the wind. We got the seven dollar sundial earlier. I was talking about it on camera. I was <laughs> staring at it at point seven 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 seven. I know what that means? We're heading in the right direction. We're heading to seven dollars. <laughs> ah. Uh, I hope we get it good on Sendai. People have been waiting patiently on it for seven months. Surfing the waves, doubling down, accumulating, going across average, being patient. Now it's parabolic blast off. Epic pole run beginning. Off the news event. Exactly what we need on our anatomy of a bubble. If this was a bubble cycle back here, which it was, a full 20x bull run bubble cycle last year, the long term sundown. Okay. That fits all the anatomy of a bubble requirements. And then that tells us a lot about where we are right now down here. If that was a full bubble then the crash down to 49 cents right under 50 cents that was despair and now we're just returning the mean that's why it's going straight up and we've already been getting sell-offs and bear traps and everything now we're getting the media intention let the enthusiasm begin kicking some greed and fomo real fomo and Moon boys are paying like four dollars for it. Start getting delusional, think it's gonna go to a hundred dollars. And then you take profits. A bubble happens all over again. At seven dollars. Take profits at seven and it's a whole nother bubble again. You didn't catch it two years later. You didn't catch it months later back at a dollar and ride it up a third time for a whole nother bubble <laughs> five years later like, the bubble trust the uh, anatomy of a bubble psychology of markets mm, yeah if you already played the dice today you know, you really do it once per day, twice per day. Oh, also, Peck trying to play slots with 12, it's only with 10. I have it limited right now, right? Because it's more valuable. I just crushed that slot, won a ton of booty on my one slot roll of the day. That's a big deal. <laughs> How's that big booty win? I can't roll slots again till Monday. <laughs> so I can't just keep winning and winning.
Mmm. Peck won the slots. <laughs> Peck got three skull and crossbones, 160 booty. My goodness. We got lots of good luck today, don't we? We might get a eventful power hour here. No real move, SMP. <laughs> we still have the bed open for 450 end of day battle. Absurd that it's even taken that long. After we already got the hammer on it this morning. Another coconut bounce. Apparently it's going to be as slow as possible to the very next seven days and the months next Friday. <laughs> Kelly's raking it up too. And then lots of dice rolls. <laughs> Not that she needs any luck. Virgin Grisco like Conan Metten. Oh, it's the Metten buying song. Mm. Well, we get over 45, so if this happens over the weekend, then next week is the week that Metten sure is start moving and grooving. 45 is not really enough itself. We need to get that higher push up on Bitcoin to the next level, 50 level, clear these previous tops. And that's when Metin should really go for it. Pyro Edge up to 30 cents. And same with TCAT, Shade 3D. They're kind of waiting to see Bitcoin hit 50k. It's not enough with just this right now, per se, because we've already done this a few times, so it's nothing new. Metin's waiting for a new development on Bitcoin. Now, very end of day dollars <laughs> might actually move to. I'm glad we're having Tilray Sundial on fire today. Some good popcorn bouncers. My favorite Wall Street bet stocks. If you don't do an after hours crypto crunch, oh. <laughs> I will throw a crime fit bigger than Matt Course getting his YouTube check a day late. Bitcoin is 50,000 over a weekend, I might have to do a weekend live show. <laughs> I really wasn't planning on it. Um, but I'll tell you what, it's not boring enough. Glad you're excited for that. I am too, it's just not really necessary right now. We only do that when it's critical. If it's set up all good for end of day, it's looking nice. We're getting more green on it than we would. If it's just going down and flat, then we're not going to spend too much time on it. So I want everyone to just enjoy their weekend and not worry about it too much. It's right where we want it. We'll see if we get a big push on it. If we get over 45, we'll do Crypto Crunch. see something better happen here otherwise it's everything we've been talking about the whole time I 
I'll definitely summarize it all though. Either way. Let's see where we get in the day. If the charts are live and active, we'll stay live and active. Working on a project and got several minutes behind and thank you for the VTHO breakdown. I am going to clip that for a couple <laughs> people that asked me to tell them more about it. 777. Seven, seven. Oh, nice. Hmm. Yeah, make sure to get them excited about VChain too, primarily, because you get excited about VTOR because you understand that it runs similar to VChain. VChain's exciting long-term fundamentals. The reason we like VTOR is because we like VTOR primarily. If they like the concept of fundamentals of VTOR, with actual use case, then they might like the VTOR trade because it's a leverage trade of VTOR. Yeah, identical they are on the charts. The only difference is Vitor goes up bigger in magnitude and it goes down further on a crash, on a retracement. Larger magnitude up and down on Vitor. Besides that, the charts are completely identical. So, of course, with V chain bullish long-term fundamentals going into a bull run new all-time high vitor followed into a bull run go to a new all-time high on vitor which would be a larger magnitude bull run bigger profits on the trade on vitor These are nice hot baby on V chain from V chain being up at 30 cents last year. 85% discount. <laughs> I wish it was a discount, a real discount. Like Grayscale. Yeah, what's up, Travis Schaefer? Were you the one who was in Neo Puts? I was surprised how many Neo Bulls there were. When I was talking about Neo last week or a few weeks ago. It's one of our most bearish trades. 
I was really getting annihilated. I was surprised anyone's really bullish at all, but there has been the whole way down. I remember there was back here too, when we were trying to get people talking about Neo Day coming up. Yeah, this is looking to continue. Until it goes way lower. Under ten dollars. Magic number. <laughs> Probably exactly right about seven dollars seventy seven cents. And these, these big green candles here, recently, those are the coconut bounces from the S&P move. That's why the bear charts have been fairly green. They followed the S&P up here, back up to the resistance. But you can't fight that trend. There's no breakout here, there's no hot bevy bounce. The indicator's probably still garbage. <laughs> probably still very ugly. Definitely down there. It's even got a bunch of bearish crossovers on the short midterm now this recent rollover so that's what we're looking at is the bear charts are just starting to roll back over and it's pushing the S&P down we're about to go red again on the day yeah man I'm not kidding me <laughs> look at that shit <laughs> the double hammer <laughs> Oh, well, <laughs> it doesn't mean much unless you were here this morning. Unless you were watching it this morning. The very end of the day. <laughs> About 50 minutes. It just delays, delays, delays. Coconut bounces all over the place. <laughs> and then the very end of the day. Drops down huge. It's ridiculous. They couldn't they have just done that this afternoon and got it all over with? <laughs> I see if anyone even took the other side of the bet. <laughs> okay, it's actually pretty even again. We got four bets for above. Seven for under. I don't think I bet yet. I'm going to bet. Yeah, it's still open, you can still do it. Hey Becky, keeping it real says hello. <laughs> she stopped by earlier asking about you. I placed my booty on under. About to turn red very end of the day. Still is a like a battle over four fifty though. Which is crazy. How many days are we gonna have to battle over 450, right? Hopefully this is the last fucking time. 
This better be the last battle ever for 450. I don't want to see any more 450 battles next week. So, I want that underneath, guys. Dollar is trying to have that bounce finally too. After all day on that. Good to go. That coincides with everything else. It does mean Sundial hitting a speed bump though. These are all the variables. When um, we're talking about like, well, how far could Sundial go and today or Central Electric or any of them really well, there are lots of variables today. Depends if we get that dollar bounce and whatnot. It's starting to have all that. Very end of day, so this could be topped out now. With this dollar bounce. Same with SP, but I mean, look at it. <laughs> it keeps bouncing. It just won't go down without a fight. Time's ticking, <laughs> we're fighting that clock again. 45 minutes. Nothing major decisive happened there yet. <laughs> All day. Just huge volatility up and down. Closing under 450 would at least be some sort of development for next week. Closing over 450 just raises questions about what's going to happen on Monday. We want to feel confident that okay we closed under and it's likely going to go down on Monday and next week. Let's see if we have any uh, Popcorn bouncers and the day surprises perhaps kicking up. Two player wellness. Double digits now. Mm. It's already been playing out uh, for the short term for the quick 100% move targets. Now it's going for that next swing. Wellness Therapeutics Companies. They've been doing just as good as Sundial. <laughs> I'm telling you, Sundial should rebrand their name, Sundial Therapeutics, <laughs> and the share price would be $10 already. Yeah, true, I go grizzly, but I can, um, I'll end the bet soon. Alright, place your last bets, that's a good point. <laughs> We're not gonna wait till the very end to place the bets. I'll wait till the end to declare a winner, though. Taking last bets above or under 450 booty coin on the line. <laughs> Cause if we wait too long, then it's too easy. I mean, you might have, you might know by then. I'm gonna close the entries and then we'll declare after. And ACB made it all the way back up to double digits. Got to break out for reals. Get that real clean long term breakout. <laughs> wow. 
Behold! There's eight bets above, nine bets under, it's half and half. That really reflects the market. Traders can't make up their mind <laughs> above or under. Bullish or bearish, just Of course, it's all short term that we're talking about there. If you were putting your real money on it for a real trade, the question would be above or under six days from now on the monthly candle close of March. Oh, sisters farming now from the country betting on above. It's a tough choice, there's no wrong answer, but this is our chance. <laughs> Time is now for it to have that bearish close on Friday after coconut bounced the last two days straight. It should close under, but will it? <laughs> That's the irony. It should do it. It might not. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Becky. It's been a hell of a green week, though. Pretty much everything. That's why, if it's really that bearish, if it's really as bearish as we think that it is with the whole market crash scenario, then it shouldn't even be pretending to be bullish. It shouldn't even fuck around up here that much. <laughs> Just get a hard rejection next week, go straight down. That's what we want to see on it. So that's what it, f closing under 450 is looking to lead into that next week. Getting slammed. All the way back to 420. And below. Remember 420 from like last week? Back to 420. So we're looking for that hard rejection and it's been lingering for a few days up at 450. Jupiter one is still running. 17% now. How far is that about to go in the day? Sheesh. Just hungry for popcorn. We got popcorn bounces. <laughs> Nicola holding over 10. That's what we wanted on it. Yeah. 
These are looking all set. We do need to check our bare ones again. Also, is anything taking damage? What's on the bottom of those? Mullen. Makes sense. AI. Okay. We're halfway up our pirate wedge, T Cat. That was up a lot the other day. And so is YSG. These are just cooling off. So they were very green this week. Centro. Alright. Yeah, not bad on the red side there at all. That could much <laughs> look much worse. Quick check on the bear charts and developments there. Well, Neo under 20 is something today, and Tesla at a thousand. Where's Tesla? A thousand point seventy seven. <laughs> Right about to fall below a thousand end of day with the SP, SP 0% going red. That means Tesla about drop under a thousand, 999, 98. <laughs> <Hammer> time! <laughs> I'll save, I'll spare your eardrums. I'm not gonna smack it down again. It's satisfying, we're feeling good now. We're going nerd SMP. Took all fucking day, but <laughs> it's actually making sense again now. Alright, I'm closing the bets. I bet there's 146 booty on the Etsy going for our ultimate target. Anyone still holding Etsy big puts? <laughs> We're getting down there. Closer and closer to our ultimate target. Magic number. Seven seven seven. From the upside down hot baby. Hot beverage. Those are good old hot baby. Let's see baby. At all time high. Say goodbye. <laughs> Off the plank. One more push down, we'll hit our target. I think everyone took profits on that <laughs> DRM, <you> though. <laughs> Etsy puts were already up 10x or more. <laughs> Etsy traders are locked in, hundreds of percents profit, so. We pretty much squeezed all the juice out of that one. <laughs> it's just cool that it's actually about to hit our ultimate solution, conclusion. Boys, meow. Okay, what's going on? What's up 100%? Is it an all coin?
Jazz music spot. <laughs> I'm not burning up. Must be jazz music. Yeah, it's waiting for that Bitcoin to clear 45 over the weekend. Usually continue up. There's no end in sight. <laughs> mm, let me check. What's that? Hmm. Green, 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 green. There's no end in sight to the green. <laughs> um, judge me. Apparently, the most popular, the biggest number count crypto live streamer refused to look at the Jasmine chart, calling it a rug pull scam or some shit. I don't know, that's the word on the street. If that's the case, then you must not care about his 350% profits right there. From the all time low hot baby bounce. If there's money to be made on that chart. Also, we confirmed with all the. We dove into the volume and the market cap, it all checks out. This isn't the same as a brand new rug pull meme coin. Now that S&P is red, officially, we'll see where Bitcoin's at the end of the day. That's why cryptocurrency isn't entirely necessary right now. It's like, well, if we get some nice chart action, we'll dive into it. Otherwise, it's just chilling. Not much to worry about. It's about the altcoins. It's the actions on the altcoins. And that's part of why Bitcoin's not going up too fast, because the traders are selling their Bitcoin to buy Jasmine. <laughs> They're selling their Bitcoin to buy Litecoin. Yeah, you know, we did look at the Litecoin versus Ethereum pairing, but it's probably even more prevalent on Litecoin Bitcoin here. Mm, it's about the same. Heading up in this local area. Where it's extreme on the long term, all time low. That's what we like about it. Yeah, not as big a development there yet. We're looking for. It's because Bitcoin's going up and Litecoin's going up and Ethereum's going up, right? <laughs> They're all going up together, it's the total market caps. We did hit two T's. We absolutely hit two T's. Today. On our crypto total market cap. That's important, that's a big deal. Because we can, okay, because over the weekend, if you're checking the total crypto market cap and you see it pushing over two T's, 2.05, 2.1, you know all coins and Bitcoin are going on a big run. If you check this over the weekend and it's under two T's and we're just getting more consolidation.
30 minutes. It's getting spicy. Tell her going for it. <laughs> Ended with a bang. That's the highest point all day. Might smash right up to ten dollars. This is what the kind of thing we hope to see on a power hour is getting this nice breakout push right before the end of day. This thirty minutes is enough time to send it, push it up a lot further really quick if it's starting right now. Usually they're still down here right about now, so then we don't get too much movement in the day. Just trying to end with a bang. High tide's up full 10% now. Uh, now that's double digits. Another MM play. So I'll just make a new chart for it. Oh, here it is. Perfect. Yeah, that's a clear breakout now. I tight. What I'm seeing. Hot beverage. Ah, it's, it's a coffee cup. For what this chart, only if you like high tide though. It's their different scales of how hot they are. <laughs> You got, you got your basic brew, you got your cold brew, you got your cappuccino, you got your espresso. Some bevies are hotter than others. The target's not huge here. And maybe you really like the company fundamentals though. And it helps you feel confident about holding it or entering it, being brave about entering. It's a double digi day, look at all the double digis. All of a sudden. <laughs> Surprise double digi day. Say for the altcoins, because some of those bevies are harder than others as well. 
but maybe you're not able to get one of these altcoins that you wanted to on a certain exchange that you're already using. So you're trading all your crypto on Coinbase and Coinbase doesn't have Vitor, for instance. Steam is only available on the more global exchanges, not many of the United States based crypto exchanges. So Steam's harder to find, harder to acquire in the US, and that might be a preventative factor. Maybe you're not able to get Steam on the exchange you're using, even though it's a hotter bed than something else than Digibyte. But Digibyte might be on Coinbase, so you can get that. It's all relative. A win to win. The targets are massive on all these altcoins in pink. <laughs> the pink flag don't you? They're all looking to go huge following Bitcoin. As long as Bitcoin keeps continuing green upwards to 50,000 and potentially right up to new all time highs, then you can expect all those pink ones to keep going up hundreds of percents, if not thousands of percents. Jasmine, Digibyte, fuck it. Run through them all real quick. Jasmine, epic bounce so far. Digibyte, long term support trend line. Going back 2015. V-Chain has something similar, but not quite as long ago, 2019. ICP at the all-time low. Loopring <laughs> already leaving the buy box. It was a re-entry in the gold buy box under one dollar. Well. All of a sudden, people are talking about it again, and it bounced over a dollar, so it's already leaving the entry. Chainlink, good entry, because we're double dip hot bevy back from August, same price we had on Chainlink in August months ago. Steam with the giant targets, high risk, high reward. Dash as well, but Dash was one of the most popular top 10 altcoins 2017. It's more potential to be popular. And then Vthor with the feed chain, giant magic triangle. Every single one of those looking to go 10x as long as Bitcoin keeps green. They're only gonna go down if Bitcoin crashes, tanks, goes back down to 35,000, 30,000. <laughs> Bitcoin starts going down here, then those altcoins are gonna go rip, every one of them. But damn, Bitcoin keeps going, it's, those altcoins are all gonna go hundreds of percent, so I just showed you. That's kind of what they're waiting for right now. And that's what's getting exciting about the crypto stocks too. Like Net and TCAT. Tilray hit a higher high again. Well, what I mean by that is the highest point it's been all day. In that queue. Finishing with a bang. Top of the list. Yeah, Tilray benefits from that hype cycle as well. It's more popular than Sendai, so it moved, it, it's getting more attention right now. Going up quicker. Uh, Frederick, there's no good way to really do that here to share your portfolio. You can always tell us your positions. Discord's the place for that.
that goes for everyone it's good when you do that um, it's beneficial if you post some of your positions literally pictures of them on discord asking for feedback it gives me a better idea uh, what the diversification is looking like in your portfolios It's hard to tell with just a quick chat message of, oh, I'm in Tilray. And then you're only holding one share of Tilray or something. Is anyone lagging? Uh, one or two people lagging out. Are we all good? Looks like a few audience got booted again. I called it. The hedges are gonna attack the end of the day. <laughs> Screen will get all blurry again. Becky's probably just smoking too much on that. <laughs> We're at least going to be closing double digits sundial there. Yeah, overall, covering some ground today, making good progress on these diamond hands on. Like Nicola getting over 10, right? Should still be over three dollars. No reason for Rod to go under three oh four. We made good distance there today, good progress on Rod and everything. And Mullen needed to come back for a support retest, really. That's fine too. Even if it's not ideal for the folders or traders who want it more to go green every day. We cover some good distance. We're getting through next week. Good to go. It's right where we want it. Yeah, it's a stop hunt, effectively, at two. But this is the trampoline zone. That's what this is supposed to be back here. That's our trampoline. So you don't want to be bearish on it down here on Mullen in the bolt. You don't be bearish in the bolt box. It's right there. The letters are right in front of the candle. Here, don't even look at the candles, just read the words. <laughs> That's the mistake. Did you go, oh shit, it's going to two, and then you panic, so your paper handed or get stopped out or something. <laughs> just relax, it's there in bull box, the bulls are in control on both. We got an epic run on it. That's all we could really hope for, for now. That's <laughs> how far it already went last week, last one. It needs some cooling down. So that we can hit the $7 target later. We need this now to hit the magic number later. $15 
15 minutes. Flashing red, green, red, green, s &P. Ridiculous, no move on the dollar. That's all cool, cause we're set up for Bitcoin over the weekend. Make sure we're not missing any surprises. What's right, going on right now? C pop getting it in the day. That was a day trade entry. Since nothing moved too much today throughout the afternoon, C pop didn't move much either this afternoon. This is right where we want it, however. The setup's perfect for next week. So that's still perfect. Nothing's changed for the CPOP day trade. Just that sometimes day trades go through the weekend. It's a weekend trade. <laughs> Flowers wanted a nice, um, nice sentimental quote to help him stay calm. <laughs> he got no FOMO. <laughs> yeah, no FOMO on your emotions. Stay calm. <laughs> Street trap got the dip that dope. Holy fuck, we're breaking the matrix. <laughs> oh no, are we good in the chat? The hedges are attacking again! Erg! Let's get some sevens in the chat. You can hear me right now. Everything just tweaked out right there. I knew they would attack again. <laughs> We gotta at least make it to the end of the day. I got him attacked. Okay, thank goodness. Couple of seconds coming. Very cool. We just gotta be smooth for 10 more minutes. It's cool. cool. <laughs> Weird shit going on today, that's for sure. What a day. What a week. What a month. What a year it's been, 2022. And really, what, CBDD is gonna finish number one on the list today on a Wall Street bed dice No, Jupiter Wellness. Oh shit. Blast off. One last rocket trip. <laughs> up 25% as of the last 30 minutes. This was a good bear trap right here. A good entry for Hot Debbie down here. We have a reason I'm pointing that out. We have other charts that are set up like this right now, where they're currently right down here right now, putting in a bear trap, about to do this. Goes YSG was on the wall. I remember correctly there. Yeah. YSG, Yatsen, putting in the same exact kind of bear trap right now on 
do the blue line. So that's our hot heavy entry on uh, YSG, Yatsen. Pirate Witch. Pirate Witch, Pirate Witch. I gotta say, we really didn't need anything to happen today. There's nothing we really needed in terms of absolute certainty of, oh my goodness, we really need Sundial to hit a dollar or else it's in trouble. <laughs> like, that's a good place to be. That means it's been a good week. We're feeling it's on track, they're behaving as they should be. <laughs> Recovering that lost value from November, December. Restoring the value to the undervalued charts. As for GME and C end the day, uh, remember they're following SP. They're not gonna change unless the SP goes further. Yeah, T Flyers, glad you enjoyed the week. It was a great week overall, but. Again, we really don't need anything on the S&P right now. It doesn't make it or break it at 450, I just want to be clear about that. Not until the end of month. Then it matters. It matters more next week. So meanwhile, been getting some epic trades on these MM plays right now, and then uh, really last week we had that, that epic rally on Mullen and Central Electric. Those are still rocket fuels lit. Mullen and Central are still lit. They're just cooling off from last week, going hundreds of percents. So kaboom, potentially starting an altcoin season, <laughs> that's huge. And Bitcoin's healthy enough for right now. It didn't take damage today, it's holding the line Bitcoin. What that means is it can keep growing over the weekend, because remember nothing too extreme, Bitcoin goes green. Well, the markets are closer over the weekend, nothing too extreme will happen. Bitcoin can go green over the weekend. Get up to 50,000 by the time we pick things back up on Monday. Uh, of course, we'll be talking about it on Discord over the weekend. Party doesn't stop when the show's over. To seal the deal with these double digits, so confirming the power behind Sundial, maintaining all that gained value today, not selling off, not just a pop and drop. Really shooting up for the next big target. Not a fake out break out. Alright, so as for GameStop and AMC, let's just at least check them. 
right under, so that's very awkward. That's really awkward for those charts, for those traders. If you're trying to make a decision here, there's no decision to make yet. It's right under the resistance in orange still here. So that's where it's going to start the week next week. It would have been nice to see something more happen there today. But of course, one last coconut bounce on SMP. My goodness. <laughs> so that's where we're going to be starting the week on SMPs. Right up here at the resistance. Potentially just dropping straight down Monday. Going to the very end of month. It could even have more coconut bounces next week to the very last day <laughs> this is your market madness for you we gotta be patient on these fucking things here because on the majors these are the majors it's kind of like trying to day trade bitcoin it's not gonna get you that far you gotta be patient for the real longer term perspective play out we might not get a breakout confirmation on Bitcoin here until the end of month. Same thing as with the S&P. It could just be kind of flat right here for the next six days on Bitcoin too. Something to consider. This might test our patience more than anything so far. <laughs> like the next week on Bitcoin and S&P might really test our patience. So that's where it's at on GameStop right now. It's testing your patience of, well, nothing much happened today. So it's still, it's still green at 150. Uh, but right under the resistance, which is awkward for where it's going to be Monday morning. Yeah, see? Yeah. So it's green over 20, but still under this resistance here in orange. So it's kind of awkward because we didn't get anything bigger there today. Would have been nice to see this or a breakout or something. <laughs> But there's no time. There's one minute on the bell. Yeah. <laughs> no way. The balls are raking in the booty coin on the bet. My goodness. They're about to rake in the booty coin again. <laughs> 30 seconds. Wow, who's buying that right now? Like, why? How are there so many coconuts that are buying those S and P company charts? Anyway, they're gonna get what's coming to them. The hammer's locked and loaded. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. It's way over. Why am I even counting down? Three, two. That was fun. Oh man, the balls took the victory on the fun bet. It doesn't change anything in terms of our actual hot bevy trade. Like, look. Check it. Does that closing over 450 change anything with Sundial? No. Sundial doesn't care what the SP is doing, so. It's only the relevancy doesn't go very far. That's why we took a fun bet over it, because it's so ridiculous. It's, he almost can't even predict it on the short term there. That's funny. I'll dish out the booty go. <laughs> Those of you who bet above. 
got the win for the win. It was tied, it was like 50 50, 10 votes on each. Fair is fair, that was the rules. <laughs> Can we just extend the vote till next week? <laughs> We'll have to do it again next week. Well, now we get to do it again, so that'll be fun next week. <laughs> On Monday, there will be another 450 battle. I'm working, man. Yeah, so I mean... Insanity, right? It's pretty insane, right? <laughs> what a day. We're not getting much on HT got a nice little pop before the bell. Oh yeah. That was cruising right up to ten double digits. Cool not good enough. Just scouting out some good trade city. Yeah, it would have been a lot of fun to see a bigger bounce on Bitcoin here today. Spend the day blasting off over 45,000, but we're out of time and it's looking to continue over the weekend. We're in great shape. Check the dollar. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's really what it was today. Dollar didn't move much at all. So things got to have some fun. The S and P got to have a, all its all the coconut bounces it could ever want. We got like three fucking coconut bounces today. Anyway, <laughs> Bitcoin got what it wanted, maintaining good health. We're absolutely stair stepping further up every time we pull this chart up every day. <laughs> Every couple of days we're up another thousand dollars, so reasonable expectation. Crush right through 45. Since it was healthy here, and it's still getting some green candles right now. Nothing extreme's going on, so it can go green. That was the positive part about closing bullish on S&P. This is kind of like a catapult trigger a bunch of momentum over the weekend. So we can reasonably hit 50,000 over the weekend. Well, 48 is my short term resistance on it. But Getting up 250 though. It's not going down. <laughs> I don't see any down. I don't see any damage. I don't see any paper hands folding. I see more buying pressure kicking in and all coins bouncing huge. <laughs> Alright, so that's pretty epic. And we hit. We did hit two T's on the total crypto market cap today. That's a recent development. We did make it officially to two T's there. It's been a while since we have been. Um, back to early February, two months since we've been at two T's. Exactly. Two T's, two months. Makes perfect sense. <laughs> yeah. I wish there was more happening with Bitcoin all afternoon and we were already crushing 50,000. I wish there was more movement on the dollar. I wish we had a bigger development on the S&P. That's what tests your patience. Because you really can't control the charts and you have to just kind of go, oh, well, it is what it is. <laughs> Pick that one back up next week. Like,
Really gotta focus on what's ahead here rather than what even happened today. Because everything that happened today is because of the bigger picture charts, the longer term perspective charts. None of this is really short term volatility on these green double digit charts. These are all long term breakouts. Like this on CBDD. <laughs> and they're just getting started. That's kind of a lesson though for everyone. Even our fresh day trade C pop had the perfect setup today and not much. It was a very mild kind of afternoon. So I'm happy that we even got double digits. Let's be happy that we even got a bunch of double digit charts for the finish that we did get sundial moving and grooving to rate. CB very cool that's a good success and then we hit our two T's another big development those are the real developments today we are well over one T on the altcoins this keeps going up 1.5 T all our favorite altcoins are going to double, triple in value. Get ready for that. Is this happening fast already? <laughs> That's why Jasmine's already bounced 300%. Especially the smaller market cap ones. We'll definitely check GME AMC first thing in the morning on Monday. We did get over 10 on Nikola there. And just like the bear charts, all right, HC. Yeah, so HC finishing strong, like not bored enough mention. That's to be expected because we're at 950 HD and we're expecting it to crush right up through $10 real soon and beyond. Nope. No big deal, no problem for it to go over 10 there. That's more than reasonable. That's what's great about our pirate ledgers here, stuff like this. They're very reasonable plays, trades, and they're working. Maybe we got a new development on one of our bear charts. <laughs> See what Tesla finished right over a thousand. So those things are all right on the line testing your patience testing your nerves if you have money in them Where it's literally ending on a cliffhanger at a thousand dollars on Tesla right under the resistance And because we had those retracements on Mullen, well, now it's cooled off. It was getting a bit too spicy there, going up 600% on Mullen. We had some profit taking, whatnot. Now it's ready to get back to business from there and pick things back up on the longer term trade. We hit those short term targets and that becomes a longer term hold for the bigger targets later on. Yeah, and here she's <laughs> we're at this gigantic double top. A real cliffhanger <laughs> for next week. It's a lot riding into next week on these things. For good, bad, and ugly. For the bulls, for the bears. 
but another development of today is really some of these bear charts are continuing down. We got the all time high rollover on that one. We are getting uh, pushers downside on like Neo. Going back down and then Etsy heading towards our ultimate target down below. It is good to see these continue off resistance rather than what was happening last week. Cool, let's take a quick peek at uh, after hours. Bunch of the ones that were up today. Yeah, <laughs> I like all these. These are good treasures. So there's not much there. You wouldn't expect much. But I will say that the ones that are getting after hours buying pressure every day, things like Mind Meg, Green Pro, Color Star, Sphere 3D, those are frequently getting after hours buying pressure. No surprise if GameStop AMC have some kind of pop and drop after hours or not. Those are playing mind games right now for sure and that's the why we gotta be careful on those so. <laughs> Expect the worst, hope for the best. We need to get this treasure back to town. We're getting closer and closer. We are very much getting through it all. Every day is just another day, after all. Every day is just another day, heading in the right direction, making progress. That was good. <laughs> that was a blast. Thanks so much. All the kind words and support. Happy trading. Have an awesome weekend, and take care. Ending on a cliffhanger, I can't wait for next week. <laughs> Pressure's building. Let's get this treasure back to the moon base. <laughs> There you go. Until next time.